with, with, with Lady that we're going in LA with the brown bag. Brown, brown, brown bag is the best, best in here, brown podcast. bag pie. Go, I'm cleaning. Why are you cleaning? Because I had to set. Because it's season four. Hey! Welcome to season four of Brown Bag, baby. We outside. We outside, we outside. this season. Okay. Yes, we're outside this season. We're inside, but... <laughs> but we're outside. But we're outside. We've been outside. Honestly, you guys should just watch this outside. Like, you know when people set up the TVs for the fights outside? That's Only people with lawns do that. So let the... Yeah. <laughs> A Brown Rich Bag people. watch party. If you ever do that, shout out to you. You oh, are our homies. Oh, that would be awesome. crazy. Yeah. Somebody, Invite us, man. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't think... Is it weird watching yourself? Like, do you ever like, 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 do you ever catch your girl watching brown bag and you're like, oh, it's weird. I was there. I'm turning it off. You're or, asking Maximo. I'm yeah. asking Maximo. Come on, Maximo. Um, she doesn't really watch anything. I knew it. <laughs> she watches the kids. That's what she watches. <laughs> 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 A girl should only watch the kids. No, yeah. she only watches the, Love and the, is Blind, and that's it. Oh. What is that? Love is Blind is a Netflix show. Oh, the Netflix thing. Yeah, yeah, where they just start talking to each other. It's low key like the party line. <laughs> 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 they, fall, they fall in love with you based on like your conversation, and then like you can only see someone if you want to marry them, and oh. then you have to like get engaged and stuff. That sounds nice. frightening. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, what did you get? I feel like you would excel in that though, Vic. I feel Why? like you would talk to all the girls and fall in love with all of them, and then propose to all of them. And yeah, I mean it's a numbers game at the end of the day, but. I mean, what if one of them is like it's a not numbers game at the end? Not of the, day. the one they're that you all want. fine. They're oh, they're all, all fine. fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, then it's all good. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know about that. Let's do that. Yeah. Where's your shot at? They're not all fine. Huh? No. You said what? Where's your shot at, fool? Oh, it's right here. Oh my gosh! By now, you've seen the photos of us at the club in Vegas. We were outside, <laughs> outside. We're trying to figure out what is going to be the photo shoot for this season. And Duno came up with the idea. Let's like, let's just do a photo shoot at the club. Like, yeah. catch us in our natural environment. Gorilla style. And that trip was a trip. Which one was your favorite? My favorite was Vic doing this and the girl. I haven't seen the photo yet, but I can imagine how yeah. it looks like. Probably amazing. <laughs> Probably uh, amazing. By the time this drops, the photos will be. Yeah, amazing. and 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 shout out, like, Letty's the type, like, Letty will hit Maximo, like, at 1 a.m., like, send me photos, because she's just like. No, he actually just sent only one thing to me, and that's it. <laughs> I, I have given up asking people for the shit that I've asked them for. I'm only going to say it once, and then. I'm gonna be quiet. I was going through the photos, deleting the ones that I was like are pointless. That way you don't waste your time. Just clicking away. I'm looking out for y'all. And then Come you on. sent Letty the one that's probably the most vulgar one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just thought it was hilarious. Salute. What about you, Max? Cheers. Man? Cheers to season four. Maximo no tiene nada into Cheers. How's that? Cheers to season four shot. just because it's shot. Been... shot, 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 shot. What? We're on 90th episode? 91. 91. Oh, what is that? What are we? A more away from a hundred episodes? Yeah. 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 Let's give let's give some updates first. Okay, you normally we start off the new season with a new background or a new something, and we're still working on getting our new office. So we're still currently just like in limbo in Duno's office. Yeah. Trying to do what I do. But the set for this season is not yet revealed. Probably yes. in the next couple episodes, you will see the new set because we're already locked in. Yes, when I post a, a photo new. before anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that should be the new tradition, no? Yeah, like just you ruining <laughs> shit. Exactly. It's okay. It's not a tradition. I gotta be nicer things. to Vic. I gotta be nicer to Vic. I gotta be nicer to Vic. <laughs> All right, you had a boner pick with me. Yes, okay. Do I, should I take my shot first? Let's take hey, a shot. Take, Let's take two, a shot. Two, 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 I, I already four. took mine already. Shout out season four. <laughs> Shout out you guys for coming back. We're high energy this year. We outside. One, I do wanna. Um, I feel like I feel like we we've just. We've been so busy that I feel like slowly but surely uh, we're all coming back into our our groove when it comes to this. You know what I mean? I oh, like, f that uh, was so gross. That was nice. Whew. So fucking gross, dog. Stomach sizzle. Ugh. I'm excited for this season. Me too. I was really excited to come record. <laughs> yeah. I just got unexcited. But I have <laughs> a low carb seltzer. Thank you, Angie. Show. Angie Show. went and got brown my keto girls because I've inspired a lot of. Uh, Mexiquitas. <laughs> Mexiquitas. I like that. Oh. I like that. You're onto something. Yo. To get on their keto journey, um, I'm drinking Michelob Ultra and it has zero added sugar. Hold on. Let's see how many carbs it has. It has five carbs. So this is good. I just have to. This is not an ad, but it can be. It can be. Um, <laughs> on keto, you have to limit your carb intake to twenty, like around 20 to 25. Wow. Um, so, Sounds so five carbs is like I can't drink more than 20 like 25 is worth it's not wow. it's like doable because there's 
that has no carbs. Like mm. meat has no carbs. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that's but rice, like, lots of carbs. Rice, lots of carbs. Ah, oh. so. bread, rice. I feel like tortillas. keto, keto has a lot of. Uh, like you have to become educated as you. Oh yeah, you become a nutritionist. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I do miss is fruits. I miss fruits so much. You miss mm. like because there's no like you I were big I have on that, found though. yeah I have found like uh, replacements for tortillas and for bread and for rice even, but I can't you can't find a replacement for an apple. Yeah. You know you can't mm. find a replacement for a banana or a peach. Yeah. yeah. Are you, are you gonna keep it going throughout summer? Like no summer, no free. No well, fruit since in the I'm summer? getting flued out this weekend, I think I have to keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna, not like that, Jorge. If you're listening, by the way, you have a bone to pick to me. Yeah. I have a bone to pick with the people that watch and listen. Y'all are on my shit list, but that's neither here nor there. Um, okay, this weekend I'm gonna go shoot with Michelinus and with Lids. We're gonna do a whole campaign. Yeah, and we're it's gonna shit on us. Cool. That's so fire. It's really cool. I was yeah. so yes. excited when I got. That's dope. That's yeah, really dope, though. Yeah. We're all coming up. If I come up, we all come up. Because I'm going to meet the lids people. 100%. we like, hey, look yeah. at this. Yeah. Wow. yeah, we didn't all come up at the we fight. We lids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go. Bone. bone. Let's get that bone, bone in. That bone in. Did you order, by the way? <laughs> we're in the process. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, we're chilling, right? And we go to Vegas. Great weekend at Vegas. Yes. yes. Incredible, incredible weekend. We had a good shout time. out to PBC. Yeah. Shout out to Power. Shout out to Golden Boy. Yeah. Tank. Ryan. Shout out Vic. Really had a good energy on Friday. Great energy. Amazing energy, right? <laughs> yeah. So we're like big vibing. We're having a good time. Yeah. Everything's going up. And then, you know, I guess we're not going to the fight, right? So we're like, I'm like, oh, okay. We started. We, 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 yeah. We started a great weekend. I come back home. Flew in early. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go watch the f-. I'm like on Instagram right before the fight starts. <laughs> and guess who's at the fucking fight? Miss Beautiful Letty Peniche. <laughs> okay, should I not be at the fight? No, listen to me. Okay. That <laughs> <laughs> we're a team. Oh! Oh! You thought we were a team? You guys left me outside of the club by myself. We that left the club. You left the club. You didn't even say you're leaving. I it's did. Check the fucking chat. Okay, I wasn't. I, t- I text no. all the I chats. You were too busy with your new wife yeah. at, for the moment. Ah! Okay. Ah! Uh, yeah. But look, I'm there. at the fight, right? So it's you're one of those. The fight? No, no, I'm not at the fight. Fuck you. But it's one of those <laughs> things where the whole week I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it up with the team. We go, we at the fight. Yeah. I'm flexing on no, people. No, because all all week you guys are like, oh, we'll just leave. Oh, we'll just go to a bar. Like you are already planning to leave. No. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. Bullsh- yes. Planning to leave. You know, I think I'm just going to leave back tomorrow. My homies are going to have a watch party. I'm thinking I'm going to go back. No, you didn't even say you left. That's because I did. I said it in the club. So like, oh, you didn't tell us that <laughs> you were the club is loud as That's hell. the worst I'm place to communicate no, anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, communication is an right, issue within I'm the club. tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it's going crazy, right? Oh, yeah. And then I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, yeah, man, I want to do. <gasps> wow. And I'm like, let the peace. Yeah, okay. You're not so sitting by some stairs. Shout out to Anthony. Fuck you, oh, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. Damn, I seen you that night too. You didn't say it. After, okay. after that, Jojo Diaz favor. <laughs> oh, wow. Hold there. on. Oh, wait. Now I'm really hurt because Why? I ran into Fool, Anthony. he's wait. my fucking homie no, dog. Let me finish. Let okay, me finish. Go. Let me finish. So I ran into Anthony at the MGM and he's like, what's up, bro? How are you? I'm like, I'm good. He's like, you're at the fight. I was like, nah. Now that question just hurts more because you know you didn't put me on the list, dog. <laughs> what a piece of <laughs> so okay. first of all, okay, can I finish my bone? Uh, yeah, that I'm picking? finish my bone. <laughs> finish your bone, bone, bone. Yeah. So one, so, so let the, so so it's let these anniversary, right? So let these doing it up, I'm and I'm fighting. like, and I, so I'm thinking like, oh, Jorge, Jorge maybe bought some tickets, you know? Uh-huh. They, yeah. Did you go alone? No, Jorge went with me. <gasps> uh, everything else he didn't go with me. That he went with me. So Jorge had like an allergy attack, or so he says. Oh. Always on the important days. This fool. I've never seen this fool post that many stories, by the way. Yeah, no, but always on important days that I want either family pictures or some shit, this fool gets sick. Yeah, get a divorce. Last, last, like a couple Easter's ago, he got COVID because I wanted a family picture. I'm like, yeah, all doesn't, right. He doesn't love you. Right? No, I'm right there with you. So he got, he got sick as fuck. So we went to our anniversary dinner and then he went back to the room and then I went out with you guys. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, I'm not going to like, like you're sick, but like I have to, like this is our right yeah, yeah and so the next day he went to go get like like he was really looking for someone to give him like a steroid shot because his allergies are really fucked up right now mm. um and he got a steroid shot so we were able to go to the fight but still he's like right now to right now he's still fucked up do you guys see his post yeah like, he's looking for like allergies 
Supposedly, it's like the craziest allergy season. Yep. Wow. For yeah, for sure it is. Because of all the rain, is brought up all flowers and grass and all that shit. So they spring. All the if you're going through hand. crazy allergies and the regular shit that works isn't working, because him, he's like, he knows what to do. He's had allergies his whole life, right? And then he's even like, I did this steroid shot and it made me way better. But even doing that didn't didn't fix him. Nothing needs a Mexican shot. My mom could give it to him. No, my mom, my mom just gave it to me when I had allergies. Do you so have fuck, allergies? I had allergies on a couple days ago. My mom put the shot in my ass. You should hit him because I'm telling you, this fool's trying everything. He she put the shot in my ass. ass. He needs help. She, the first time I like clinched, so she hit a muscle. It left a little bump. <laughs> and she, I told you not to fucking clinch when I'm putting the shot in your ass. <laughs> And I'm like, Chata, look, this shit hurts. <laughs> and you just finished cooking That's some quesadillas. Crazy. And I don't know if I should trust you, but... Uh, so wait, wait, wait. don't clinch. Yeah, just let it let No, it because if you, you, know how, you know how they tell you, like, if you put your armor? You guys didn't know that? Now he has a knuckle coming out of his butt. <laughs> That's just like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, but That's look. a hemorrhoid fool. <laughs> <laughs> I never want any of those. Oh, so shit. look, so, I'm, so back to you Allergy. not taking this to the fight. Oh. So I'm sitting there, right? And I'm like... Yeah, nah, you know what? Well, we just, you know, I guess they couldn't get us in, but it was cool. We started dope. Time. I'm we like, had a like, great time. We had a great I'm not I'm chill. I'm not complaining. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going through my stories, and then the homie goes like, oh, well, Letty's at the fight. And I'm like, you're lying. <laughs> and then I go to your story, and I'm like, Letty's at the fucking fight. But I just assumed that it was your man's that took it because he's such a great guy. But then I should have known better when this fuck is allergies every day is important. Yeah. So I'm like, it was Anthony, mm -hmm. you piece of shit. Shout out to Anthony. <laughs> fuck um, that guy. No, shout out to Anthony because I literally like, you guys know I'm in this boxing shit now. Yeah. And if I'm good, we're all good. I'm going to always make sure we're good. I'm going to always make sure like we got this shit. Okay. Everyone was doing their own thing. <laughs> Everybody. So I tried to hang out with this. Angie and Irene. She, they weren't fucking with me. This fool left. This fool's at a day party. None of you guys communicate that. I'm tired of being the fucking over communicator. We assume that you're like spending time with the family. But I never said that. I never said, hey, I'm going to do that. Especially with the girls over there that are mm. very quiet right now. I said, hey, <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to yeah, have a Yeah, they're pieces of shit. But yeah. like, let's go to the pool. Why? You did let's, say let's go to the pool. I said, let's go yeah. to the pool. My tia and my mom wanted to go with them to see Magic Mike. Because remember, they wanted to go see yeah. Magic Mike. And they never So to I you. averigüe oh. that. Yeah. Hijas de todas sus madres. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I see me and wow. Ali, I told you, I'm, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I apologize for not taking you it's to okay, the fight. It's for okay. the record, we were on the floor, but we were like the last row of the floor. Hey, hey look, I'm just oh, glad you so were there. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Pobrecita. Oh, you sat behind Mark Wahlberg. Oh. <laughs> no, I usually sit behind Oscar. Oh, my God. <laughs> now you have to sit next to Mario <laughs> yeah, Lopez. I know. Oh, like a so Sorry, oh, God. Sorry, he's not now. She had to sit next to the B-list celebrities, not the A-listers. Okay, you bad. fuckers, because if I were to take you and you guys were to sit back there, the first one to complain would be Duno. No. Yes. <laughs> he would text it. You would complain about it. Dog, when it comes to the fights, I just... It's one of those things. Honestly, I'm glad I didn't go. Yeah. You guys fucking ass me like an idiot. Anyways, <laughs> move on from that. Why? What? Idiot? What? Right, right. down ass. Uh, we have to talk about that. Yeah. We haven't talked about that. Um, especially our new primo of the podcast. Shout out to Oscar. <laughs> Oscar. De la Oscar, did he like my caption? Uh, oh. Did you guys like my caption? No. You said be us. <laughs> no, I didn't say be us. I said for the for, you said for, for brown bag <laughs> and power. <laughs> You're like, you're like Vic be you, but yeah. like she didn't I say do not, not to be you. do no. I did not say you. <laughs> in front of my dad in the process of it, I yeah. think it's okay. That was the, the like the sticky part to where it's like you don't know what to say. Yeah. Like it's like you can't you, say fuck you, but he's like, oh damn, your dad. You're like you you dissed your dad and Oscar in the same sentence. Yeah. Or big them up. I don't I don't know. <laughs> like it, I was just like I don't know what to do with this. A lot of the a That's lot of the true. backlash that Oscar's been getting is that he didn't show up post fight to the mm. true to like on Ryan's side yeah. and I hate that like the, the people that are posting it because they're posting it like only Ryan's family was there and like you don't know people unless you know people I know who the president of Golden Boy is that was the guy that was standing right next to Ryan so Golden Boy was there shout out to Jane I showed you who Jane was yeah. like the she, was right there. she was right there too like Golden Boy was present right and then um, Oscar went on his own Instagram live to say what happened Bernard Hopkins was shitted on for touching Tank during the weigh-in because they're like, oh, he's putting testosterone on Tank. It's kind of like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah. Right. So PBC 
It's on PBC's court. So this, I told the guys, this is like a label. Like it's like if Bad Boy and Death Row did a collab, whichever one city they're in or whichever one has the most stake in the game, they get to call the shots. Yeah. So Golden Boy and the PBC, side, the they promotions, say. they did a collab with this fight, but PBC was in charge of everything. So it was their way or no way. So because of that whole shit that happened with Bernard Hopkins, they banned him. According to Oscar, they banned mm. Bernard Hopkins from everything. He couldn't even go to the fight. None oh, of that. I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, isn't that fucked up? Yeah. Oh, he didn't go to the fight? He didn't even go to the fight. They, he was banned after the weigh-in. So you took his seeds. <laughs> 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 so hey, when you're on call like that, you just stick around. Yeah. Um, and then, according to Oscar, he was getting death threats. Yeah, yeah, I see So that. his team said, oh. like, head out. And Security I guess team. all of that was also communicated with Ryan. So it's like everybody that's upset about it is upset on their own accord. But it's kind of like damned if you do, damned if you don't. Had he been there, they would have chosen something else to be upset about. Right, and exactly. I understand that because they chose something to be upset about when Bernard Hopkins did anything, touched, touched Tank. And apparently, according to Oscar, Bernard did that to keep, um, I guess, this fool was about to fall. or They were on a stage. So that's why he grabbed him or that's why he did something. I don't know. That's what has been said. Um to me, and I talked about this on air, I was like, I know, like, I was confused. They've never done, like, a post. The, uh, to the fights that I've been to, the post-fight press conferences are never in the ring. Yeah. They're usually, like, in a conference or, like, in mm -hmm. another place, in another area. Yeah. So that was, like, the very first time that it happened like that. And if it's on PBC's terms... They're not golden boy. They're not going to extend. Like, they're not going to be over. They're going to be like, hey, fuck you. You're our little son. You're here. You're on our time. Blah, blah, blah. Probably give them the least accommodations, the least whatever. So all of that is has to be taken into account, you know? Yeah, it's like an away game. Like, it was like PBC's home game. Yeah. And this was like an away that game. That part. And so it's golden like, you got to understand that part, yeah. too. So that's kind of the, the thing for that. However, our interview with um, Oscar happened before all of this bullshit. Yes. Because all the comments are like, tell him why he didn't go you to better, Ryan. You better ask him about this. And one like, one I, does not our fucking job. Yeah. You fucking go ask him <laughs> yes again. Yeah. We're there to fucking kick it. Yeah. And yeah. he, he kicked it He yeah. shot with it for 25 minutes and sat with everybody else yeah. for about four to five yeah. minutes. And he laughed. And, 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 he, and that's yeah. why I made that caption because we made jokes and he laughed about every Everything. single joke. Yeah. He talked about how he's having a documentary come up yeah. about some wild shit. And I was like, you know what? When I'm writing this caption, I'm like, this fool, he's not as sensitive as I thought he was gonna be. Yeah. And Vic, can you should we tell him what happened with Top Golf and what his team said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes. And that, that was the president. The fool that was next to Ryan is Great the president fucking of Golden yeah. Boy. Funniest Incredible dude. His name is Eric Gomez. He's fucking fire. If you didn't know who he was, you should follow him because that fool's a fool. Shit. Yeah, he's cool. He lucky taught me how to golf. Yeah, he did. Just like that. <laughs> he only taught me and not you guys. Yeah. So oh, I wonder yeah. why. Hey. <laughs> no, I didn't want him behind me. Yeah. <laughs> he's not my type. <laughs> <laughs> so look, so we were we were sitting there. He was acting like he didn't know how to uh how to hit right. the ball. Right when we we're golfing, Damn, that was like an old school tactic for the ladies, huh? Yes, yeah, like, yes. oh my god, I've never done this before. Yeah, oh, I and don't know how to do it. Let me, let me take a swing. And then at he this. hit the ball, and he was incredible. <laughs> yeah, one of like the best swings yeah. I've ever seen. So he swings, does a you know a, a great, great, um, great job. And then all of a sudden, I was like, we we're talking to him, and I was like, I was like, yo, you must close a lot of deals on the golf course because that's how a lot of business people do business. <laughs> they we're yeah, gonna yeah. tee at five in the morning, yeah. and then they close the deal at the end. Whatever. We got to start doing that. We should. We in should the mini golf. golf. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, we that would be incredible. We, we suck, suck so bad. Oh, no. And mini golf does a bad job. It makes you think that you're good. Yeah. Because we've won at mini golf. Like, we've been cool. That's nothing like golf golf. Fuck I was no. so bad. Well, yeah. I was. I, I started off good and I just ended up worse. But anyway, <laughs> so I, when I, uh, I told him, it was kind of a distance. I was like, I was like, yo, you must close a lot of deals on the golf course. Mm -hmm. And then he looked at me. He said, what? What you say? And I was like, you must close a lot of deals on the golf course. And he was like, heels? No, 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 no. That's Oscar. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my god. god. And he Bro, was joking. He, yeah. Bro, but he said Así it se like, yeah. like it's yeah. Carilla. It was but, funny. But like even when I, I'm like reading these things and I'm like, dog, this for the. But he said it loud. It wasn't like he said it to like only we could hear. He was no, like, yeah. he's like, what? What you saying? And then Vic was like, you must close a lot of deals. And and he kind of looked serious for me. And yeah. they're like, oh, what yeah. if this fool gets like? Yeah. And he's like, heels. I'm not Oscar. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, it was perfect. It was perfectly planned. And then he showed me how to golf. He was like, oh, do this. And then it was okay. Yeah. I did better than Doodle. Yeah, I fucking yeah. suck. Yeah. 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 Really Doodle yeah. was playing baseball. And then Vic <laughs> was being a pitcher. 
Because he did the thing, you know, when pictures do this. Yeah. They kept doing that. Yo, Big stupid ass thought he was Kershaw. Yeah. So bad. I missed so bad that Oscar laughed at me like super oh, loud. Oh, that laugh was incredible. He said, ha! <laughs> like from the from Yeah, the but next that's why I wrote that over. caption for you. Thank for you. you. Like, payback, payback for the <laughs> So he sat with us. Check it out if you haven't already. But it was really cool that he let himself be clown. He's been through the phase of being embarrassed by it. And now he's like, fuck it. Call he's me whatever you want to call me. Be made, let me be the poster child about it. Yeah. But like, look, everybody does it. And not everybody, like, we like we do not. We, we did not. it for a very long time. Yeah. Hold on. No, wait, we're talking wait, about wait. drugs, bitch. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> no, he's talking <laughs> no. about like the, the shit he gets made fun of. Yeah. But so many other boxers, because we talked about it. So many other boxers have done it. And openly, like, yeah. Chavez went through some shit. Chavez yeah. was a, yeah. I, I, I've seen shit where he totally did coke right before fights. Yeah. Yeah. Tyson went through some shit, but it's like we clown Oscar. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just really cool to just see him being like on this new phase of like, fuck it, clown me all you want. Yeah, because like, it's going to happen. Like when when uh, we're posting those photos, I knew the comments were going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like, no matter what, it's going to be, you know, love and hate and, mm -hmm. and people joking and uh, snowflake emojis yeah. and it's snowing. One of my favorite stuff. comments was, saca la ollita. And I think we should call it that now. <laughs> Instead of saca la bolsita, yeah. saca la ollita. Holy shit. Yeah, that was good, right? Vegas yeah. was fun. Vegas was fun. We killed that shit. We were outside, outside. And shout out everybody that popped up to the meeting greet, too. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Super last minute. We met. Dude, there was this girl that wanted to fuck Letty oh, at yeah. the store. That was her. crazy. I love you, though. Like, shout out to her because she came and she's like, I only came for two reasons. And she posted, she pointed at my boobs. <laughs> and she's like, before I was married, she's like, I told my husband. And then I guess she was gay before she was married. That's what she said, according to her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could, and she's like, your imagine. husband's lucky. I'm not gay still. <laughs> yeah, no, literally she came in. She's like, yeah, I used to be gay. Yeah. But I have a husband now. And Letty, like, you switched over? She's like, yeah, I didn't know till I tried dick. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, but she was dope though. Could have fooled me. Yeah, no, because she acts like we. I think we're talking about taking body shots, and she was like, uh, "Me, I'll do it. I volunteer." But she literally, she didn't even say hi to me and Vic. Oh, yeah. She only came for two things. Yeah. And putting it on Letty's yeah. boobs yeah. in Shout front of her. in front of everybody. Fat Letches merch coming soon, by the way. Facts, crazy. And there was the guy that uh, the Rodman jersey guy. Man, he get he get buggy Letty like. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, he's, uh, that guy was... He was definitely the deal, like, no, fuck me from the front. <laughs> <laughs> that was the old security guard at our old spot. Yeah, yeah no, it was, it was oh, cool. There was a... Um, you know my life, bitches. There was a oh, lot of people... Oh, so fucking bad. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of people, it was, it was their birthday, and or like anniversary. Oh, yeah, they were yeah. celebrating, and we were part of their celebration. Yeah, that, that was, was really cool. That was really cool. And shout out to Switch Studios. Yep, shout out to Home Shout out to IPN, man. Someone was there from yeah, Utah? Yeah, yeah. from Utah. People brought their kids? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we, oh, we met the, the little babies. Mateo. Yeah, shout that out was Mateo. That fool was fucking dancing and doing Spider-Man movies yeah. and shit. I was like, what's up, this little fucker? All the babies. It's not your fucking meeting. I group. believe her name was Mia. She had colored eyes. She oh, was so yeah. cute. Oh, yeah. The little girl, yeah. Oh, my God, baby fever. <laughs> okay, let me, t let me. can I do my bone with these motherfuckers watching and listening? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. So Cliff. you fucking snitches. <laughs> Tell, uh, Duno, tell Jorge all the shit we talk about on the pod. You guys fucking like, your wife is blah, blah, blah. Your wife is blah, blah, blah. And Jorge's like, I don't know how we were talking about it. And he's like, yeah, they'll like DM me. They'll send me stuff. They'll message me. And he's like, but I don't like, I, it's entertainment. Like, you know, you guys all know this fool. Yeah. He's yeah. like, to me, it's like, it's the podcast. He all knows you. It's like, they're snitching on him as if they're going to fucking catch me cheating. Like, no, they're snitching yeah. on you to it. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're DMing. Oh yeah, they're yeah. DMing him. They're snitching. Yeah, on me to him. Yeah, yeah. It's like fool. We know what we're posting. Yeah. yeah. It's not. You're not gonna find some covert. Like, oh my god, they they touch they touched hands or they did this. Like they talked about her boobs or whatever the fuck. Like this fool knows who he married. Yes. Stop fucking snitching, you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> he will not divorce me. Little boy. I gave him papers. <laughs> you bitches. There, that's it. I Mind your that. fucking business. Yeah, I, have fun with it. Hey, what the guys, fuck? Hey, you guys that haven't read, I don't really read the comments. I learned that from a lot of things, yeah, right? So smart. I finally go read them, and I'm like, how everybody's like, Letty, you fucking stay cheating. Everybody's just on Letty, <laughs> oh, that I'm yeah. like, I'm like, I'm like, oh, shit. But it's, it cheating equals like the way we talk or the shit we talk about. It's like to me, you guys are like, 
this is gonna sound weird, but like you guys are like Angie or Irene, like you guys are like my friend friends, like girlfriends, yeah. like we can be open with each other. And I think that's even the beauty of it too, because there's either podcasts that are all do talk mm-hmm. or yeah. podcasts that are all girl talk. And we're, but this is a podcast where we each can talk about our own shit. Yeah. And it's like you guys are gonna have your your genuine reaction, like if your sister told you some shit about her boobs, you're like, ill, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna have my genuine reaction when you guys talk about bitches, like, uh. But it's like that's what makes us who we are. Yeah, 100%. and and plus there's like unless it's about a certain type of subject or thing, like either a certain sport or a certain type of thing, a lot of podcasts don't ever work when it's women and men included at the same time right. because of like the differences and like the different opinions. We are on episode ninety mm-hmm. one, well, ninety one. Sorry, Crazy. where it's very we've been successful talking about. Sports, music, mm-hmm. our lives, personal lives, yep. let Latino these boobs, yeah. like Latino <laughs> shit, Vic twerking when he bones, like mm-hmm. we've Duno, been Duno, Duno's loving dad, Duno. ugly girl. Oh, let's get to that. Let's get to that. Yeah. Yeah. What happened summer. at the club, what? Duno? Go, it's your turn. Because okay. if I say it, I'm anti woman. Ready, ready for this? Go, go, go ahead, go, because go, I got go, one. Go, go, I know. Go. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna go right back at me, but look, the, the truth has is the truth, and it has to be said. So, he was talking about this all morning, by the way. Look, so we go to the club. We're having a great time. I hate that perspective. And look, we're, I we're ha- ugly, pretty bitches. I said, look, <laughs> we're, we're, having, we're, <laughs> we're having a great time. Hey. We're drinking a lot, right? We get Too the much, bottles. a little bit, right? We're getting the bottles, and then I, I reach a point to where I realize that we took about close to 10 shots in less than an hour because <laughs> it's like everybody's egging us on. Another one, another. Then we took double shots, and then I was just like, dude, what? Are we doing like we're not feeling it maybe right now, but in 30, 40 minutes? They're about to hit all at yes, the same all time. At the same oh, time. They smack me. I don't remember any of this to your story where you put a knock on a lie on proud. <laughs> I was like, oh, her perspective is working right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. So, at the moment, she looked like a 10, by the way. Yeah, of course. Cause <laughs> <laughs> so look, so I, and I, I'm up, up on the couch next to Duno and I'm telling Duno, I'm like, dude, you need to stop drinking because I already know what's going to happen. Like, you're going to black out and you're like, I, I know how Duno gets yeah. when he gets blacked out. Like, he's a less choosy Susie. You know what I'm saying? It's like... They, less he's, choosy... You're sh- <laughs> what? <laughs> like what like, is that? Where do you get that from? never fucking heard that. Less You fucking choosy square. Susie. <laughs> Shout out to the Susie out there. Yo. So, I was like, dude, I know it's going to happen. I, I gave him my advice. He kept drinking. He was already in that mode. So, I'm like, all right. I get off the couch. I start talking to this girl. That girl has a couple friends. And they're all on Duno. You know, he's a star. They're, oh, Duno, Duno, Duno. I was trying to crack one, yeah. but she's gay. She was lesbian. Like, I respected her. her. Like, super I was like, she's like, she like, look, I feel it. But I was like, oh, yeah. shit, that's cool. Yeah. She was so bad, though. Facts. So, so what happens? You flirt with her and she says, sorry. I think she said it loud enough to where all the guys heard. But yeah. what did she say? I think, no, I think she was. No, I, I told him because he told uh, me he's, oh, I want the one in the tattoos and I, I talked to oh, the Oh, I saw her in the background of some photos. Bomb. Bomb. Very beautiful I, I talk, young lady. I talked to, to the girl I was talking to, and, and then talking she Talking to? Are you the, fucking talking to married the in the club? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, let him finish. He's, right, he's right. about to finish. And then so... You I t- have to let Vic finish because... <laughs> oh my gosh, so I told, I told her... Um, she she was like, oh yeah, she's lesbian. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to tell Duno. So, you know, he doesn't like... You know, start like being like, oh, she doesn't want me or whatever. That's not how I get. No, no, I'm not saying that how that's how you well, get. Don't but make me sound like a bad man. No, 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 no. She said it. And I was like, oh, sorry, you're very beautiful. No, it, essentially, respectfully. Essentially, just to not waste your time. You okay, know, just yeah. to, like find somebody like else, that. whatever. Holy yeah, shit. my bad. And then so, but the other the other home girl that's with them it sees Duno and she's like, Target acquired. Okay, this is my man now, and and she's just oh, grabbing up on him and everything. And then I'm just like, oh, okay, it it begins. It be- and then I knew I'm like, dude. She's this is gonna this is another one of them ones that he's not gonna like <laughs> like in the morning. <laughs> but she was on you the whole night and you were going with it. I thought oh. she was a nice lady. She's a very she's look, it was cool and then and then I some <laughs> shout out Zoner and his girl. They came from LA, right? And Zoner was like I love Zoner's girl. Cash, shout out Cash, shout out the hunger. Yeah, Cash. shout out Cash. She's so sweet and she always is like like she was like, Hey, let the like she was making sure I'm good. I was like, no, enjoy yourself. Like party. Like you were yeah. cool. Yeah, that Her was and cool. Angie started dancing. It was really cool. Dope. Nah, but it's like, and then she that fool was like, fool, he's like, he's like, when I see you in your mode, he's like, he's like, I'll be wanting to tell you like damn fool. You've been doing way better. 
<laughs> and I'm like, fool, you can't be like, oh, it is what it is. But honestly, I'm glad I blacked out because them fools took me straight upstairs. Oh, yeah. 100%. And I'm like, oh, amazing. It was a mission, bro. It was. It wasn't easy. Who took you guys? MGM. What happened? Like, show he the blacked fuck out? What? We're We're just like, okay, the last <laughs> thing I remember seeing of Duno is after you guys all left me by myself outside. Uh, lies. That's a lie. Um, I was waiting for my Uber by myself. And then... Um, I turn around and I see Duno kind of tilted back against whatever <laughs> fence. And I just see him. <laughs> yes. I'm yes. Active. Yes. Yeah. yes. Oh. oh, yeah. And she was calling you babe. And she yes. Like, she said, don't it. worry, babe. I'm going to take care of you. You guys had your finger, your fingers intertwined, like interlocked. Like, it was really cute. And this I was just like, oh, my gosh. I need it. <laughs> Fuck you. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> you guys keep all my fucking bullshit. This bitch never edits out shit. I tell him to edit out. You're not fucking editing it. We're firing him. Fuck him. All right. But you were like fucking. It was crazy because she was down. Oh, and yeah. I think she was not as drunk as you were. Like she no, did this shit so Let me tell you how down she was, okay? We get we get we get Duno in the Uber. Fool, he gets Stop letting me fucking drink. Look, we get him in oh, the Uber. Shut up. And then the girl goes. Please stop. You bought more bottles too. Yeah, you did For my cousins bottles. though. Shout oh, out my okay. cousins that came. Oh, yeah, yeah, my yeah. Cousins shout came. out your cousins. Shout out my cousins. Yeah. 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 That's the only going, reason I did it. You were so it. happy. Those are my Vegas cousins. Now, shout out them because our moms. Vegas cousins. Shout out them because our moms are really close. They're cool. And, They're and, so and, cool. And, and, and I never really, like, you know, we grew up yeah. so far from each other. Really nice. Really so I feel like them coming out and seeing me do my <laughs> shit. I was like, hell yeah. And who's the guy that did the song with Jakarta? The homie Papa. He came up to me. He was like, Letty, respectfully, respectfully. Like, I just feel your energy. And like, I just want to tell you respectfully. Like, I just got to tell you it's so beautiful. And you're just so sweet. And you're just, your energy. I connect to energy. And I was like, whoa, okay, thank you. (laughs) But like, I know you're married, Jorge. Yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. But I just had to tell you if I ever had the moment to tell you in person. I was like, I was like, well, I like your song with Jakarta. (laughs) Great job. <laughs> You're like, take this energy somewhere else. Yeah. And that was on you bitches. Leave me alone outside. Lies. I didn't he was supposed alone. to, he's like, I'll walk you till your Uber comes. I walked her. Jamie came outside. I was like, stay with Lefty. But that, mo- he, that motherfucker don't talk. So he was staying next to her. He didn't say didn't, yeah. <laughs> he just stood there. Yeah. And then, I, and then I seen all of you guys come out. And I was like, why is everyone leaving? And I just walked out <laughs> Lefty. And then just, it just turned And then into he a somehow hole. ended up somewhere with Bo Rose. Shout out to Bo Rose, by the way. Yeah. You helped her to her. I helped her the Uber. I helped everybody. You did? <laughs> I was there. Wait, I was fucking macking it in front of the club? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Wait, let hey, me Vic, get back honestly, to Honestly, Vic, you're a piece of shit. Why? Yeah. Because ice. Because what? Ice spice? I'd be saving Vic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't do for him. But Damn, that, didn't Vic. I tell you? What have I told so, you guys? See, we're the what subject. have I told you guys about Vic? Vic picks me up to go to the airport. Vic, and he hold gets on, a phone hold call. Hold on, my mic is fucked up. Vic, yeah. as long as she doesn't wait, want as long fine. as Vic is good, it's gonna be a clip. Fuck you. As long as Vic is good, <laughs> as long as Vic is good to Vic, it's all good. No, I, we need to dispel this narrative. No, you just keep proving me right. No, that's I, I've been I, I've been editing right, so my you, behavior. Yeah, I've been I'm editing my behavior. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, though, I'm glad this is with you guys because I wouldn't want it to be with anybody else. Okay. Like, like have me having fun and wilding out and doing stupid shit. I'm so glad because it's yeah. such great content. Oh, yeah. And, and, and honestly, like me embarrassing myself, I don't give a fuck. But I think it's funny yeah. that nobody ever looks fucking out for me. I would look no, out for you. Bro, I stopped no, people no, from but taking I was having a good time. Oh, yeah. you, Bro, that's the thing is like, even though like, okay, if you've ever, you've never been able to like see yourself blackout drunk, <laughs> but like you somehow the entire time have a smile on your face. You're so happy. <laughs> You're like this. Uh. Oh, Shout out so, me though. So it's like it's it's hard. Like it's funny and like and then also like somehow you always wake up great in the morning. You're not the homie that you have to worry about. Like oh, like he was throwing up all night. Will he wake you know? up? Yeah, will he wake oh, up? His flight was at 10 a.m. He, he I made Facetimed it. me like like nothing happened. Like he was spring chicken. Like was, hey, what's up, bro? I'm at the, I'm at the uh, airport right now. What are you doing? I'm just like I'm just waking up. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> He's just so happy. Bro. No, you got no, you know what's funny about this whole thing? That I remember you wanna know the last thing I remember? She what? was like, I'm taking you with me. And I just grabbed the bottle and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Holy Bro, shit. We, we walked you through the are. through the MGM. Oh, that's dope. We're so cute. Oh, that's fuck. Fun. But she but talk about what she did. <laughs> What the girl? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. So the girl was so locked in I on him. Know this till she today. was so like, no. I'm gonna get it out of him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like she's trying to trap you. This is how hard she tried. She 
gave Maximo her phone and <laughs> said, like, "Give it a do no." She said, "This is in like to make sure Crazy. that I'm gonna meet up with you guys. Don't leave me. <laughs> like we're gonna see you at the hotel." And oh then we're my like, God. "Yes." So we have her phone. We're like, "What do we do I'm with her phone?" Around? And then all of a sudden it starts ringing, <laughs> and then it's like, "Okay, I guess we answer one time, and it's nah. like the other homegirl." And then it's like. Oh, yeah, like, just make sure, like, nothing happens on my phone. We're going to meet you guys right now. Right now. Okay, we're like, all right, cool, I guess. And then another dude named Richard. I'm just putting his name out there because fuck it. Who cares? I don't know yeah, me neither. Dick answered the phone to some random call. Yeah, a random dude. call. Like, some dude started, like, it was already booty time or booty call hours. Like, it was, like, 2, 3 in the morning. So we answer, and we're like, yo. And he's like, hello? Who's this? This our bitch now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "What?" And we just hang up. <laughs> Why says her dad? No, no, no. It was a, it was a dude. And then after they get, they it took them a long time to get there. And then they were like, "Oh, I'm sorry," because she was arguing with her ex boyfriend on the phone. <laughs> we started some whole shit, uh, and then she didn't end up getting anything out of Duno because okay. he was already blacked out. You so. feel me? I just honestly, I believe in life. But shout out her. She was nice though. She, was, she cool. was cool. She, she was, was cool. cool. She was kind of crazy. She was nice. She was cool. Honestly, she was kind of. We found out later. She was kind of crazy. They were twerking. Um, their aunt hit me. <laughs> so you know, I posted like. <laughs> Do those <bays>. Oh yeah, <laughs> those girls. How I posted like, not gonna lie, I'm proud, right? Their tia DM'd you. So their yeah. tia DM'd me. Shout out Rhonda. <laughs> That is a tia name, but Rhonda is cool. Like, she doesn't uh, look like a tia. The girls that were twerking on us. Yes. Yes. Their tia hit Letty. Yes. Yes. So she did. So she DM me and she's sending me photos. She's like, oh my God, Letty. And so she sent me, these are texts from those girls, right? And then she sent me videos. So she's like, the videos of you guys, you know, those <laughs> girls, right? And then she said, I woke up to this this morning. Those two girls are my niece's friends. This is my niece. So her niece is the it's tattoo. The funny one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and then, oh, that's funny because her niece was like, damn, let these fucking beautiful men. I could have fucking, oh, I could have cracked, cracked it. Oh, you should have cracked it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Ah. You got to crack the I'm bad I'm married, you fucking asshole. Is it fucking cheating if she's a woman? Uh, she's let these fucking beautiful man. She, she texted was, her tia. She was wow. talking to Letty with she, her. Wow, <laughs> she had them eyes on Letty. This whole time. And, and she's like, she's the one that gave you the rose because I did get a rose. I know. Damn. Oh, oh, oh. She was trying to Letty, crack Letty, it. Letty, she Trying to crack you. <laughs> hey, Yo, dog, it's getting hey, crazy. Hey, let's do the pizza shit. It always gets crazy when you meet up to talk yes. about everything. Hey, let's do the pizza shit though, because she's like, dude, no, here's a rose, and I put it in my mouth, and I was just <laughs> dancing with it. <laughs> No. I said they're wild. She left a voice message. You want to hear the voice? Oh, yeah, message? yeah, let's hear right. it. Because I guess, hold on. She's like, What's up, Letty? Good morning. She sounds freaky. Um, yeah, she <laughs> actually like tapped in this morning and was like, D, I got to meet her. I got to meet her. She's like, wasn't this the girl you were talking about when you came to Vegas? And um, she knows how much I love you and support you. And I tell her, like, man, I live in L.A. and I can't even meet her. <laughs> But nah, she um she was really happy. She had a good time, and yeah, they are wild. Sometimes I'm like, slow down. Yeah, so she was. <laughs> I know, like Rhonda. Shout out to your niece. Well, I guess it's not what happened friend. in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, yeah. It follows you back. But it always like, follows you back. Look, I want you guys to know the girl network. It's fucking some real shit. Like girls world worldwide, you guys like. One girl will look at a fucking hair extension of another girl and know the bitch that is her sister. That did her hair. And will, yeah, will oh. hit her up. Like, hey, isn't this your sister with this guy? Wow. Like, that's how the girl network works. Okay. That's how you all, you fools always get caught. Okay, the last two things I remember is the girl telling me, she's like, I'm taking you with me. Yes, she was aggressive like that. I'm she was like, a, I was <laughs> like, my I'm captain, I'm I ain't, captain I ain't now. Gonna I'm not even gonna lie, I kind of felt like a bitch. Yeah. Like, you liked it. You liked it. You liked it. You liked it. I don't like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Vic likes them aggressive. No, like, and, and then the assertive. only thing I remember is they played Dom, and yeah. everybody oh, was so crazy. excited to see us three. See, to word for word, can I get around? And everybody was like, and Letty was doing some shit like this. I was rapping. <laughs> With her titties popping in her shit. <laughs> I was rapping, you but you were rapping. Rapping. and you were rapping too. We were all just fucking That's rapping. Really each other. But I feel like was everybody dope. was so amused. They that were we watching knew. us turn up. Yeah, yeah, word for word, everybody's like, "Oh, these are real LA people." Yeah. Like, because never... it was a Latino, it was a Mexican night. Yeah, yeah. 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 playing like regional Mexican music, yeah, Peso Pluma, which yeah. we will get to. Yeah, I was, uh, I was walking by the DJ booth after I went to the bathroom, and then the guy looks at me. He's like, "Come here, come here." He's like, "YG," and then Dom after I was like, 
yes, yes. <laughs> right now. Yeah. And then I walked to the section and I was like, I knew like Obama was about to go off. I was like, dude, everybody's about to go crazy. Up, even if no one else in the club turned up, but we, we did. No, they, they no, 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 no. But even if it was just yeah. us, that was so worth it. So shout out to the DJ. Fact. Shout out to that whole Divina, Divina Entertainment, Divina Entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah, they were dope. for t- having us out there. Good hospitality. The fool with the fucking sombrero, sombrero. hat. Yeah. Like, they were all really fucking cool. Tall and ass I, I couldn't have worked with like a, <laughs> they're such a good team to work with. Yeah. Promoters are tricky. Yeah, you know sure. this shit can get grimy real quick, yeah. or it can get weird real quick. But they were incredible to work with, and it was a good time. Yeah, and, and the club was worth it. Yeah, yeah. and there, and you know what it was too that we felt the hospitality the whole time. Yep. Like the way it was set up, we couldn't really get to meet everybody. Mm-hmm. And I know like a lot of people, but they, I, I got DMs like people were like, we're on the other side, yeah. and we just didn't want to do too much. But just seeing you guys vibe out and sing. Yeah. We were able to do that, and it was like a. Ve- it felt like very home, you it know. Like it felt like if we were all having a house party. Yeah, yeah. that's literally yeah. what it felt. Like. That was so cool. And then it was like it, it was dope. Everybody got to turn up, yeah. even though we we're crammed. Shout out to homie Pop. I'm like, but yeah. I feel like we just. I think that my, my favorite part though was us singing Dom like together yeah. was such a vibe. And then when people love the camera, so I told yeah. Jose like that uh, earlier Friday. I was like, fool, bring the GoPro. And just give me your light, and we're gonna pass it around like you know how they That's do like so at parties. Cool. Yeah. And I was, I was like, yeah, you sure? I was like, fool, trust gonna look dope. And then we did it, and it was pass a it around. Fucking, it was fucking awesome. And dope. everybody was like, we, we were giving random people the camera, and they were doing the Getting most up. wild shit. Oh. And Duno taking over the camera and shooting photos. Oh, that was oh, hilarious. That was so oh, good. Yeah, I told him he had to because you weren't taking photos. Shit. Yeah. What do we video. have you there for? He was doing video. No, then it's Jamie was like, oh, he was. No, Jay- the GoPro was doing video. No, they doing, video, doing video. No, it's funny because Duno got the camera and he's taking photos of Vic. He's taking photos of me. He's fucking selfie himself. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good. Oh, but I didn't tell you guys, on the way to the airport, since we're putting fucking business out there, Victor, <laughs> yo, I'm in the car, right? And Vic just gets a random phone call and it's like, hey! And I'm like, who's this? Like, you don't mean it, Chimoso? Is it the runner? No, no it's not the no. runner. It's the other workout girl, but she doesn't run. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, it's so because I feel like she got put in the spot, like, oh yeah, I'm in the car with Duna, my mom! <laughs> like, Vic said that right away. Yeah. And I'm like... <laughs> Your mom was there? Yeah, she oh, dropped us off at She the dropped off at the airport. Your mom went to Vegas? No, no, no on the way back to airport. Oh, almost. She oh, almost went to Vegas. She almost, she almost turned the off. She was annoying. She's, She's down. Like, Shout out, Carmen. <laughs> She's like, you want me to drive you guys? You want me to drive you? I'm like, no, mom. I don't want you to drive us. <laughs> anyway, shout out my mom. But the girl was in the... And then and then I was like, and then I was, and then we're saying bye, and then I was like, all right, bro. <laughs> and then the car got quiet, and Vic was like, yeah, let's do no. <laughs> but she was so fucking awkward. Yeah, she was awkward. I'm like, you like her? Yeah, I like her. Like a lot? Yeah. She's like, a really nice girl. Do you like talking to her or is it more looking yeah. at her? No, she's a really nice girl. Just date let's let's, let's uh, fast forward. We'll come back to this in like two months when he can really talk about it, when yeah. she doesn't watch. And no, she doesn't watch. She doesn't really watch. Yeah, so they like, always don't really watch until they watch. She, she says she doesn't listen to until the radio something either. They sad. always don't really watch until yeah. they watch and then they're like, True. oh, fuck. I saw that one time you said blah 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 blah. Shout out to you by the way. You'll probably hate me for it, but I don't give a fuck. All the bitches end up beefing with me for some reason. True. Fuck uh, it. Fuck it. Fuck it. It is what it is. Fuck it. Life is life. Ninety-one episodes in. <laughs> My longest relationship so far. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And employment. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I doubled my last gig. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. Those are the bones. Anybody else have bones to pick? Uh, Holy shit. I think we should take a quick break to eat yeah. our wing stop. Yeah, thanks. We'll yeah. be right back. We'll be right back. Holy Love fuck. you. And we're back. Woo. And we're going to get into a lot more. We're going to get into Cheese Man with Angie. We got a lot. What? I don't know. I joined an agent. Um, away. But we asked. We're going to do this on the podcast. We asked. In the beginning of the pod on our social media on Instagram, Brown Bag Pod, for you to chime in, tell us what you want us to talk about, and then we're gonna do that during the show, okay? So we shout don't know, out. We don't have a name for it. Now. We don't have a, no, a name for it yet. We're working on it. We literally just thought of this, um, but we have our baby girl um, Irene here. Yeah. Irene. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Top three questions, Irene. You're you going saying. through all of the questions and the messages, yeah. right? And there's a lot. Yeah, I don't know if I want to start drama or not. Yeah, <laughs> start drama, start drama. Just not with me, because it's been a lot of drama. Um. All right, well, Irene looks for just for further questions. <laughs> I was at brunch with my homies yesterday, right? That's nice. <laughs> we're like sitting down there, and we're like having conversations about just life and shit. Then it's depressed. Depot's ugly as shit. PD's. <laughs> so we're just having talks or whatever. What? 
And then and then I'm like, hey, dude, I don't find Letty that like attractive. That's fucked up. Hold on. It's not a bad. They're thing. talking about their whole life. You guys are eating food. Why would you bring me up? I forgot how you came up, but it wasn't <laughs> oh, like random. Because you were like, I just said, hey guys, while you're fucking eating, you know I don't find Letty attractive, <laughs> which makes me feel like you do find me yeah. attractive. <laughs> So then we're having a conversation right you now. You know why I, like, I don't find attractive? And I was like, and I was, and I was like, and I was like, yeah, dude. When I look at Letty, I don't think like, mm, I'm down to fuck. And they're like, why not? And I was like, I don't know. Like maybe just because I've been like, it's just like cis mode. It's yeah. like a big guard of cis mode. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like cookie. But it's always like a conversation I have to have with the homies every time they tell me how come I don't try to get at you. <laughs> like, it, it trips me out that people, and I've had this my whole life. Literally, I worked with Big Boy, right? And it's like the age difference. He's married. Like literally, like it's. The furthest thing from attraction, oh, they're fucking. Anybody that I do anything with on a YouTube video, I interview them or whatever, oh, they're fucking. It's like if people cannot see uh, men and women's relationships outside of them fucking. Yeah, yeah that's Especially true. if they happen to be attractive. It's a sick, sad world. You know, it's there. really crazy. But um, I was like, yeah. I was tripping out on the other one. Which one? The one that. What? We talked about this morning. Oh, that one was funny. A mutual friend of all of ours asked me if Letty had a, a cousin that looked exactly like her. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what? He's a maniac for that one. All like the older homies have been knowing about you for a minute, they always go like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for my wife. Or one of the homies told his daughter, Yeah, look, your mom. <laughs> and I think that's funny as shit. Because even when you know like, who I like? Uh, is it Curly? Curly, yeah. Curly was a security at our yeah. first live show, and he was like, fuck yeah, Ricky, I love you. And I was yeah. like, I know, I, those are my favorite. Yeah, it, it's just funny because, it's like, like I said, it's just like, like something with, like, it's kind of like when my, um, my dad, when, when he was sober and shit, and he would see, like, somebody hot come on TV, he'd be like, look, you guys, your mom. Oh, my dad does that, too. Yeah. He gets my mom so, so that, mad. So like, they're married. Yeah. yeah. But it's like celebrity, so, like, mm. to my homies, it's like that, essentially, with Letty, like, mm. oh, look, you guys, your mom. Or Mira La Sancha, like type yeah. shit. <laughs> Which is not a bad thing, I it's just not. think. It's not, to it's totally yeah. fun. I, I love it, I appreciate it. That makes me feel really good. The compliments you give me, I don't get at home. So thank you so much. <laughs> we got the question. <laughs> <laughs> I chose four, because a lot of them were repetitive. Okay. So I want to start with drama first. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> were you big Yeah, me? he was like, okay. Head ass. Like if he was at brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Talking about <laughs> Okay. So, big underscore perm wants to know about the sexual tension between Vic and Angie. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't talked about it on the podcast. Vic wants to fuck. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Because yeah, I'm going to finish talk. with you. I'm the only one drinking it's making it. me really well, mad. Yeah, we yeah. could talk about it. This is really good, by the way. Let's taste it. it. Oh, Angie, I think you should come take the floor. Yeah, <laughs> Angie, come say your piece. No, she's not allowed. She's not allowed to say her piece. She's not allowed? The homie Vic. Okay. okay well, give me well, so we get to Vegas Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> and Vic's doing it up. I'm like, hey, Vic, you know what? I'm going to go back to my room. I'm good. I'm going to leave you to it. He's like, all right, fool, yeah, lame. And I was I'm walking out the room. <laughs> lame. <laughs> Fucking lame. <laughs> Fucking lame. Little, little kid. Little, little boy. Little, little boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> and Maximo and Lecter on. I was like, hey, you guys, we got to be up early. Yes. So fuck, we, you know, we already know. Like, okay, we're going to be up early. We, we got a time gotta, schedule. Time schedule, yeah. you feel me? Me and me, I, I wake up and Vic gets downstairs and he's just like, shout yeah, Vic is on one. Vic is fucking horny, yeah. fool. Fuck a honey pack. He took the whole bottle. He took the, the whole syrup bottle. I was worried. This, huh? this fool made out with stallions. But he was just screaming, shout! And yeah. then while we're walking into it, we're doing live, the, the radio live. Mm -hmm. Maximo's like on producer more like, hey, Vic, don't slur your words. Food, drink yeah, some water. Yeah. Well, and, and this was like, shout! I'm good. Yeah. Shout! And he just keep repeating doing this. The way we were sitting is Duno's here, Vic is here. I'm I'm across from Duno and Angie's across from Vic. And I don't know, Target turned on on and, and instead, of, <laughs> instead of a runner, he, he went to a, a merch a, a merch maker. Like 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 he saw Okay, did, Angie does more than make I'm merch. I'm joking. She knows. Shout okay. out Angie today. He'd be like that merch. Shout out her. But so we're vibing, right? And out of nowhere. Vic, we're live on the radio, Power 106, and Vic just starts yeah. shooting his shot at Angie. Oh, like, oh, so many shots. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Yeah, Kobe. like, yeah. And, and, and he's swishing. He's swishing. It, it surprised me more so less of his shooting and more of him making it, because Angie's like, ha, ha, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm like, wait, what is going on? Angie was flirting back. Yeah, she was. What? You were Angie. For you, you were flirting back. You didn't say, shut up, stupid pendejo. Like, yeah, that's yeah. what you would say. True, true, true. You were just like, oh, big, big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't laugh it out because now, oh my God, I want to fuck big so bad now. 
Whoa, you want to fuck me so bad now? Whoa, Whoa we got that on camera. I didn't miss the first. I missed the whole first part. I didn't. Look at Josh. <laughs> Josh is like, wow, Vic, really? You do me like that? <laughs> <laughs> but boo, Vic was just like flirting with Angie. I'm gonna go hard and mm -hmm. shit. Wow, shit. Yeah, it was a good. We time. even tried to read her text with her man. Oh yeah. Because he was texting her like I just heard bing 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 bing. <laughs> And she didn't let me read it. That's how I know some shit was going down. Hey, fool, fuck your coworker. Hey, that, hey hold on. Like, that must kind of suck, huh? From his perspective, it's like, his girl's out in Vegas. It's and then like hit on. Getting hit on by Rosecrans Vic. And then it's just like, we know where each other's staying, probably. Like, that's crazy. But nothing happened, obviously. Is it rude you know? next to each other? Okay. No, they weren't. But, but he was, like, flirting. <laughs> and, I, and then we're thinking, like, okay, it's just for entertainment purposes. Like, it's just for the radio. Yeah. It's just to get Letty back. Cheers to... Facts. Cheers. And Cheers to Vic and Angie. Being up. No Cheers to Vic and Angie. Nah, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> the next day, Vic takes them out to eat dinner. I was the third wheel. Angie and... At Benny Hanna's. I got a third Hanna. wheel. That he essentially forgot my plate after he said it's going to take him 40 minutes. No. But I texted at 6.25. What did I say about Vic? I was there, though. I was there, though. Like, Bro, like we asked the lady, and the lady was like, it's going to be like... 40 to 50 minute wait and we had to go back to the hotel to get ready for the clue you guys should have asked for it when you asked for your food well no we, we tried to this lady was this i'm sorry she was the slowest person and i'm gonna just say probably more ways than one she spilled the soup everywhere she had a condition i don't know what yeah, it was because she was like shaking she like was it, like this yeah and like, she i got was, your soup yeah, and i was like I oh bad. shit well, like she's a recovering drug addict I on her know. turkey exactly that's well, cool. turkey. something was yeah. wrong with her though because she was really slow and even like the people next to us were getting mad and i was like a yeah. full like all day yeah. like they've been slow because he was yeah. gonna go off on her and i was like she's not like there's something wrong with her full like, yeah. like you know leave her alone yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, we had to sit at the bar. We didn't even get to see our food made. It was okay, but he paid for the dinner. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Oh. This one never pays. Bro. And there was a view. Oh, there yeah. You guys view. were talking about this view. What's going on with this view? It was a okay, nice view so of we the were, wind. We were at the bar. We had to sit at the bar because yeah, we didn't have... Yeah, to wave your table. Yeah. Yeah. And um, they opened, like, the other side of the bar, and there's, like, a window, and you can see the street. And he was like, he was looking at Angie, and he's like, "Wow, what a nice view!" And I was like, "Ciao." Like, I was talking about the view. And then Angie was like, "The trees," and he was like, "Yeah." And I was yeah. like, mm, mm, "You're my favorite view." <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then she let me try her drink. So that's oh, cool. Oh God, I want to throw up. <laughs> As friends, so maybe you want to. You've Angie. never done that with me, dog. We're homies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't help. Well, I don't know what you guys want me to do. It was funny. We had a good time. It was very entertaining. Angie's laugh is crazy. This is a right radio. Now. This is radio, baby. <laughs> Come on. I was like, content, content, content. No, the show content. never ends. The show never ends. We need some drama. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? We need some. All right. You well, know? that's. I hope that answers that question. Yeah. Is there sexual tension, Angie? Answer for honest. Whoa. She, she wants to no. fucking suck Vic's cock. <laughs> from what I heard from that, no. What? what? Huh? She doesn't know how to do that. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't say anything. <laughs> All right, next question. Oh, okay. What did he say? He said, teacher. This one isn't drama. It's like a real discussion. Okay. James Chavez 9 says, strippers are really good at making me feel handsome. Is there a female equivalent? Ooh. Ooh, that's a good question. question. Ooh. That's a great question. Okay. Money. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, strip. First of all, let's 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 give context to what he's saying. Strippers make him feel handsome. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they tell him what he wants to Ooh, hear. You're so handsome or something. Yeah. Like they make him feel like he's popping out here in yeah. the streets. They like boost his self esteem and shit like that. What could be what could be that for girls? I guess like that that best friend um, that you know like wants you, but like the friend zone fool. Yeah, the friend zone fool that like is the there friend forever. Zone fool. Yeah. He's good at making you feel heard. Oh. The best. Angie, do you have an answer? Only the girls can answer this. Yeah, and I don't have to give him dollars. <laughs> Angie? What? Do you have like a like a type of guy in your life that makes you feel pretty? No, I have my, I have but not your man. <laughs> yes, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Show! <laughs> Hey, her, hey, hey, her Yo. giggles kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. We're not in Vegas. No hey, more, girl. I read his giggles, dog. You are Angie. That's Keep it a buck. Your graphics. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it a buck. What it, what, how, like, let's just say, Vic and, and Angie Stop. were to hook up. What would be your response to that? Okay. Um, Hypothetically speaking, it does happen. Yes. Why do we gotta put this out there? Hypothetically speaking, it's not gonna happen because neither of them really like each other like that. But, um, 
I am so protective of Angie. I want her with a good man. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, wait, wait, hold on, wait. She's about to say how something about me. But, like, like she's no, that's protective it. of me. That's it. That's oh, it. you're not protective of me? Vic, you're not protective of you. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to be protective of Vic. And he has shown me, Letty, I am I'm like going raw, Letty. Whoa. No protection. Straight fucking ass <laughs> yeah. TV out. So I can no, only no, help no, you out as much as you want to be helped out. Straight up commit it out. Does that make sense? No, Angie? no, 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 no. All right. STD free. What about you? What would be your response? I'd be like, hey, free graphics. Oh, <laughs> free graphics. Oh, free, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know how I would like. It would be weird like if they What like, if Angie and Vic start dating? Yeah. And Angie forbids Vic to go yeah. out with you because of the way you guys get when you're partying. Mm. Oh. And she's seen it. Or I can't talk about like old hoes on the pod. Oh, oh like I no think... matter what girl you're with, they're not gonna want you to talk about old hoes on the pod. No. Yeah. But like Especially if... the type of girl you like, you like the little toxic girl that wants yeah. to control you. But like if Angie were to be like, hey, you can't hang out with Duno. Yeah, Duno, no more I see what you guys have done. I was there at the club when you guys were twerking with those girls or those girls were twerking on you. Yeah. So I'm not gonna let you do that. And I'd be like, ah, oh, you're a bitch, fool. <laughs> like, <laughs> Too big. Yeah, but then, like, what am I supposed to say about Angie? Like, what if I have a complaint about Angie somebody saw that week? Yeah. And, like, I don't want to just and say And now he has to fight you? And then I'll, like, and, and, and I call that funny because I ain't feeling talking about my girl's yeah. subject like that. Yeah. Like, then what do I do? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, 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 like, so don't do it. So don't do it. No, don't worry about it. Don't dip the pen in the company ink. Exactly. Don't dip the pen in the company ink. That's, what I, that's the motto I live by, honestly. Josh. <laughs> Josh, you, Which company? Josh, you've tried to fuck Angie before. No. No, just kidding. What about Angie, the old intern? I would love if Josh and Angie got together. <laughs> what about really? the old intern? Vic and crazy. Angie, not so much. Josh and Angie, yes. She the home. They man. know it already. I don't give a fuck. He knows how I feel about him. Holy shit. He does. Listen. Yeah. Watch it. Hey, well, fool, you're a yeah, fucking, Say something. I dare you. I like you. I don't know. I never <laughs> met him. You like him? I've never met him. You have met him. I've never oh, met he's him. The only one that not, you uh, guys are all friends. Yeah, um, but you know what he did to her. Oh my god, baby, let me love you, down. <laughs> so many ways to love you. So episode so, so, eighty one is the breakup 91. of or ninety one is the breakup of brown bag. No. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> it's did. big body boy six two six. That's weird. Um, is that Josh? <laughs> <laughs> Josh and Luke, you got in the gym? With the sexual tension between Josh and Angie. <laughs> <laughs> it says, how to tell your spouse that they suck in bed. Whoa. <laughs> you have a spouse, bro. Say something. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I feel, okay, all right. I think it's been easier there. for girls. To say I, I've about. been there. But not necessarily a spouse, more just like a girl I dated. But yeah, like, well, yeah. sometimes I can be patient, you know? Because at first, like four years ago when I was talking to this girl, not so great. Now, it's a little better. No, actually Same not girl? even a little better. Yeah, way better now. Four years later. Same girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, but I didn't say anything. I think it's just like you just have to keep practicing. You know what I'm saying? Well, you don't know how to give direction or what? Yeah, that, but also, it also has to be in them, I too. Love I'm just asking because, like, yeah, it, like you just have to be patient and then just, like, try new things. Well, I feel like... Are you a pillow princess, like... Vic, or what? No. What are you? Uh, maniac. <laughs> Dude, that's know. so unbelievable. Like, un... Well, I don't believe it. Prove it. I'm kidding. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I am a maniac. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, like... Holy shit. <laughs> How do you tell a girl she sucks if she sucks? Just don't reply. <laughs> I don't think you could tell. Oh I don't think you could God. tell. Them. They don't tell them. They don't tell them. Nah, you can't tell them straight out. I think. Oh, whatever. What? what if she's you know better? what we end up what doing? If, we what? end up doing the work. Because I, I know how I'm good. Like I know what gets me. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm always gonna get him. Like I'm. All, he's always gonna be good. So it's like fuck it, I'll just do the work. But then it's like annoying because it's like nadie me ayuda en esta casa, en esta cama. I feel that. I feel. I don't know. I don't. I, I, you just ghost her. You never had, had a spouse to like. Tell yeah, her. like like I've never been in a relationship that long with somebody. Mm. Well, I mean, I guess, but like when you're young, it's like it's yeah. kind of like yeah, like, it's all good. It's, 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 no, it's yeah, some, I'm, I'm like. How old you stick around? It's that's some real mature like conversation that you have to have. Old. If you guys are like. 
over 30, getting close to 30, you have to say, like, yo, actually, I don't like, like when it. you do this. This is how I like it. Like, like spice it up? Saying, because when, like, when, when you guys are younger. What the fuck, Josh? <laughs> yeah. Josh went like this? Josh, that's <laughs> domestic <laughs> violence. That, no, he's yeah. slapping her ass. Yeah. Oh, nice. When you guys are younger, you, you try to, like, act like you don't have a past. And when you're, like, closer to your 30s, you're just like, yeah, we both fucked a lot of people probably in the past. Now let's just get to, like, us or, liking what, what each what other does. does. Like, all that other shit kind of goes out the window. But that's what I was saying. I think it has a lot to do with communication because yeah. you have to be like, hey, I like this. Don't do that. I yeah. like this. No, no, no. Exactly. But what if you really like somebody and they just can't seem to get it together? Well, then that's when you have to have communication and be like, A4, yeah. I'm going to give yeah, you a direction. You just, and yeah. this is what you you have to ask yourself, do I like them more than I hate their sex? Mm. That's a bar. Why do you always oh, come up with a bar? It's a bar. <laughs> Let these words away sound. <laughs> 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 and if you, you have to answer that. Because yeah. sometimes you'll stay with the fool or you'll stay with the girl that is horrible because you really fuck with them. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Well, there's that. Well, well, well now you made it sad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't think they was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next question? How do you tell a guy, Irene? <laughs> you have your little Hello Kitty dolls tell him? <laughs> What's the hand of the puppet? I'm weak. <laughs> she oh, does an man. instructional video. No, I, I communicate a lot. <laughs> this Hello Kitty <laughs> needs a bigger cock. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Kitty <laughs> needs <laughs> you to <laughs> rub me right. Hey, <laughs> where's my, where's yeah. my hair? Y'all are gonna like ruin my perception of Hello Kitty. Like, <laughs> say goodbye to my kitty. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Only fuck me with my kitty. <laughs> Suck my titty, suck my titty. I need some more dicks. If you want like this kitty, suck my titty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Irene loves Hello Kitty, you Jesus guys. Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Come oh, on, <man>. Pachaco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What's the next question, Irene? I don't, I don't know if I should make you a more sad or this should be funny. No, 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 funny, no funny, 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 funny. Okay, okay. Well, was sad? Well, no, that. it was sad, like, thinking of the people that they <laughs> stayed with that have had bad sex. Okay, this one is from Joanna Alexis. Joanna. She's, she said, the most embarrassing moment you've ever had. Mm. What about when, though? I know, no, there's it, a lot. It wasn't It was. A there's specific. so many to choose from. Let's do... An embarrassing moment we've never talked about. Because I feel like we always talk about embarrassing moments. Like, that's mm. a thing for us. Embarrassing moment. What's the latest embarrassing moment you've had? What if, What's happened to you, Joshy? I fell asleep at six in Miami. <laughs> I passed out. Oh, Josh. Oh, Josh, I do that all the time. That's cute, bro. Yeah. But did you pass out from sleepy or did you pass out from drunk? Drunk. Oh, okay, Josh. Oh, embarrassing. You, like you worry me, though. Because your heart stops for no reason. Yeah. What? Yeah, sure. yeah he's blacked out a lot. Like, flatlined. Oh, my God. <gasps> that does happen to you a lot, huh? Happens. Happens once or twice. I don't okay, know. Okay, most recent embarrassing moment that I was judged for by this fucking bitch is that I peed my pants during working out. Mm. After working out. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, but it happens. And Maximo's girl even understood, and a lot of people listening understood. You just mm -hmm. went full on. You know. Ew, you're a piece of shit. Ugly, dumb bitch. Why are you going to pee yourself? That's what you I told me. I didn't say ugly, dumb bitch. That's what you did. I only thought it. I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> but, fool, you can't pee yourself. I did pee myself, and at least I'm open about it. Okay? That, that's respect that you actually said it, because you don't have to tell anybody. No, no. one would ever know. Mine's, mine's way worse than yours. What? I got... um. You know when you uh Vic what you had recently? What? But I didn't get food herpes? poisoning. No. Oh. Herpes. What the fuck? You're the one who Yo. called him said he had an STD. You no. started it. I don't have any STDs. Never have. Uh it's okay if you have. Once a year I get like really, really sick where like I'm like throwing up like and Oh, food poisoning. No, but no, but it's not food poisoning. Uh, I get like a really stomach flu. Once a year something happens yeah. to me. I, I can't tell you exactly what it is, but just know it gets bad where like I like <sighs> <sighs> like I feel like shit. Mm -hmm. Last last year I lost five pounds out of how much I threw up in like oh two, God. three days. Like I get really sick, right? I fucking farted and sharted myself. No cap. Oh. In the Where middle in the middle of the night while I was like I was throwing like <laughs> once I got up, I was in my bed. <laughs> and it was just like a <laughs> and I was like <gasps> and I ran and I fucking 
took a shit, but then I was I had to throw up. I was crying. Oh, I had oh I got a bad oh, fever. Crying. Like I got a bad fever, fool. Like yeah. like like if you ever see when girls are about to like or just That's people nuts. get <laughs> or just people get depressed and sit in the bathroom like this. Make it edgy. You're like rocking shower, back and forth. Rocking back and oh, forth. Oh, that's the worst kind of. And thing. I'm like, and I'm like, sick. I'm throwing up. My nose, like, fool, I get like super sick, fool. And my mom had to like cook me a soup. I threw that up right after. I had to shower again because I felt dirty. Yeah. But I shouted myself, fool, like real bad sick. No cap. That's crazy. I'm, that's not what Vic had. No, I, Vic I just had, had like, like food poisoning. Yeah, yeah I had, like, stomach, stomach bug, bug yeah. for like. 24 hours or something. Yeah, but I got like a really bad fever. Like, right. it was bad. It was like Aww. super duper bad. Damn. Shout out my mom though. She was taking care of me. That's she washed right. your clothes on. She washed the shirt off. Yeah, facts. Damn. Damn. She's like, no, I got you. Real one. And that's why there's Mother's Day. That's why there's Mother's Day. Yeah. Which is coming up almost. Huh? It is. Yeah, it's yeah. in two weeks or it's three coming weeks. up very close. Yeah. Um, what is the most embarrassing thing uh, as of happened, recent? That's happened recently. I would say, um, so I was in a different place. I was in, uh, I was in Texas. Fuck it. I'll just say it. Who gives a fuck? I was in Texas uh, for our South by Southwest, and then yeah. I was, um, we were hanging out with some girls, me and the homies. So one of the homies was uh, sitting in the front, and then I was sitting uh, with with the girl, and then I was sitting in the back with another girl, and then we stopped to get some tacos for, at like this place that's like a late night taco spot, uh -huh. kind of like a Alberto's or like those spots that have like the super fries and all that shit. Yeah. And then so I'm chilling. They leave the car. We're in the back. We're getting freaky. No. And out of nowhere. Some lady walks up to the car, and I'm like, what the fuck? Who's that? And then she knocks on the window and opens the door, and it's that girl's mom. <gasps> Shut the fuck up, I bitch. swear to God. Fuck and I'm like putting up my, I'm putting up my, and I'm just talking. What the fuck? Wait, like, what? No, no, there's a. Oh, I was like, there's 13. A I was like, what the fuck are you doing with a 13 year old? Don't say that. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, don't say that. Dark humor. No, just, it's not dark humor. I know, humor. but I just put an STD on him. Yeah, then... you guys are putting a lot of narratives <laughs> on me, season four, on the Brown Bag podcast. <laughs> Oh. Oh, okay, sorry, Vic Hive. We all get jokes thrown at us. <laughs> so, so she knocks on the door, and then she's like... Oh, your cock was already out? Yeah, yeah they to, were fucking. I had to... No, no, not quite, but, you know? And so... You were getting that dough. Yes, I was. Um, so, <laughs> and then, so I had to, like, you know, get up, and try to fix myself, and I'm just like... She's like, oh, this is my mom. She's like, oh, who's this? And I was just like, I'm, I'm Victor. And then I was just like... What the hell's going on? Why is your mom right. at like a taco spot three in the morning? And yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Well, I mean, what I happened? Nothing. She just closed the door. Shut she up. Continue? Huh? She continued? No, no. She wasn't like kind of embarrassed after that. Oh. I wasn't. I didn't care. But like, it was just. But what happened with the mom? I guess she just left. Like, she, it was it was so weird. What? It was so it was so crazy. And then so we go back. The uh, her cousin was the one driving the car, mm. and she gets back in the car, and she was like, "Oh my god! Like, why'd you let her come up to the car?" And she was like, "I didn't know you guys were doing anything back there." It was just like, "You're stupid! Come on, like, get it together." It's you three still in the fuck? morning. Wow. All right, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was that. That was pretty embarrassing. Yeah. That dang. was like some intense shit. Like, just what are the chances? Yeah. What are the fucking chances? That her mom pulls up. Yeah, it was it was so well. And then leaves her there. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're fucking cool. See you later. Nice, nice to meet you, babe. <laughs> the mom's more money actually than her. Probably. Uh, probably. Would you would have smashed the mom if she was with it? Bro, I didn't even look her full way. I was just like this, like You're holding that like cock? Yeah, I had to stay in like one position like this. I was getting pretty close. Nah. All right, Maximo, what's the most <laughs> embarrassing thing that's happened to you of recent? Get a microphone, little baby. Here. No. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, I don't know. Top, top my story. I can't. Yeah, top that. Top his top. Can't top it. Top his top. Whoa, boy. <laughs> Damn, I don't know. Live a pretty mellow life. Oh, my oh God. My We're brother. all rolling your eyes at you. Oh, brother. Jesus. Damn, I don't know. Oh, Let me think. Oh, God. You mean to tell me you haven't sharded yourself? Yeah. No. The kids didn't do anything. Your girl didn't do anything. Oh, my wow. gosh. Don't act like you never shat yourself. Man. Irene, what's the latest embarrassing thing that's happened to you? <laughs> I've been thinking. Crazy. And Angie, you're answering this, too. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, that happened to me yesterday. 
You guys don't know how to fucking check your vagina? No, bro. Sometimes <laughs> when, yeah, when your period society. starts, like, I know, it's, I know. Fuck, fuck, fuck. So it's heavy. Fool, don't tell me how periods work. We well, have to tell you. Woman. Yeah, but you're not a But woman, you're telling you know. me. No, bro. It's not that. Like, I was raised around vaginas my whole life. <laughs> but but you don't have one, so it's different. Mm-hmm. It's totally different. So you've stained your car seat before? I have. I have plastic. I'm not so. the one that said that. She said that. But have you ever stained anything? Yeah, you. it's going to happen. Yeah, it's it, gonna happen. Happen. it happens to like... Because you can't call what type of days you're going to have. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you think it's going to be a heavy day and it's not too heavy. Sometimes you think it's going to be cool and it's gonna, it's freaking heavy. Yeah. So like you have to plan pads accordingly. They have like a little scale, like light, super regular mm. or whatever. Yeah. Um, and mm. then you don't want the fuck to wear the super ones the whole time because then you just look like you have a diaper on. Yeah. And it's not a BBL. So fuck, you shit it out. <laughs> you're, you're perioded out. Is that okay? Yeah, it's crazy. Is that okay, Mr. Shart, his pants? <laughs> oh, one time. Okay. <laughs> was it one time? It was one time. Right. <laughs> like, it was one time two weeks ago. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing, Angelica. Fucking Maximo. All right. I'm not going to pass you back the mic because I, I contributed a liar. nothing. God yeah. Maximo was such a shouldn't be that hard. They stick out in your mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The most recent thing that made you like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Do it, Ross. I'm going to talk about throwing ice at you. Why do you say the craziest <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> story? Point the camera. Uh, yeah. You're gonna go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but just at him. <laughs> oh my baby girl. Yeah, really looks like shit. Uh, no, <laughs> fuck you. She doesn't look like shit. Yeah, she looks my crying. You're gonna make me cry. Yo. Yeah, that's really <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Fucking big. Yo, one time when I worked at the school, I one farted, time. so I wrapped around the kid. <laughs> I did like a walk around the kids so they thought it was crazy. <laughs> oh my god! Asshole. So you you framed someone. It wasn't yeah. special. Did you blame? It wasn't you a special. Blame special kids? Nah, it was a regular, like a, a it kid. A it was a regular kid. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, the other ones aren't regular? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. You should be embarrassing yourself right now in your communication. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm going to wow. fucking die. Yeah, well, that was who? Shout out to who, who the fuck told us to do that shit? Yeah. I <laughs> oh. oh, great. Yeah. What a piece oh, of man. shit that guy all my relation, All my relationships are I think it was now. a girl. Do you have one more that you like? And if not, it's okay. Um, No, they're like sad. Oh, they're all sad? You don't want to hear no sad hey, shit. No, we can't do no sad shit. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, you guys, you guys, guys, guys want to know whose pod I went on? La Platica? Mm-hmm. I, went on, I went on our beast pod. We know a fool. It dropped like five years ago. <laughs> how do you guys feel about that? Ew. That's how you feel about that. I actually have questions because when they first introduced you, it looked like they wanted us all on the podcast. And then you said something like, yeah, Letty and Vic couldn't make it. Yeah. And it's like, you never told us about yeah, we, it. Yeah. That yeah, we they couldn't DM'd make me it. personally and said, Duno, when can you come on the podcast? So then why did you say me and Vic couldn't make it? Yeah. No, that was the narrative that way it was edited out. But they honestly didn't want you guys on there. Okay, then we don't want to talk about that. That's not my cool. fault. Next subject. Yeah. Actually, we want to talk about this for Yes. Industry plant. So for Brown Pride, obviously today oh, we wow. haven't kept up, but uh, Peso Pluma being one of the biggest artists, regional artists, yeah. I yeah. guess artists in general. Yeah. How long have we now, had a break? Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks. I feel yes. like from our break yes. to now, it's like, I want to, if you knew about Peso Pluma before a month ago, raise your hand. A month ago, I knew about him yeah. a month ago. No, I but didn't he know very about little, him a month ago. But, but he definitely. If took you knew about him two months ago, raise your. No, <laughs> no, honestly, I don't know. That if shit I, is crazy. If I've ever Super seen crazy. a artist blow up faster, and with more like hits, just like that, like he's already in all of our subconscious. Right. Like we know who he is. He's yeah. popping. Like we want to go to concerts that don't exist of his. Like it's a lot yeah. of shit. <laughs> you know Sorry. what I'm saying? Like, that was the most embarrassing thing that the, I Hey, that was really embarrassing, dog. That's why I didn't go to Usher. Juno planned us to go to a Peso Pluma concert. And was like, he's going to be here tomorrow. He's going to be here tomorrow. I thought tomorrow. he was going to be in, well, Vegas. We're in Vegas. Put in the names of everybody that wants to go. Dom is going to f- figure yeah. it out. He didn't even have a show. It's been since July. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I felt so stupid. I felt I hit so on my plug, too. He's like, it's since July. I was like, yeah, you're right. I forgot. I was like, he's like, what you hit me up for? I was like, nothing. Mm. How you been, bro? But, and it's crazy because I remember hearing about him, then I hear his songs, I was like, oh, it's not for me. And now I know the, all the songs yeah, by heart. Yeah, now they're, now, now they're for uh, me. And it's crazy, like, not just blowing up, but, like, the collaborations he's getting. Yeah. Like, I feel like I haven't seen an artist be able to get that many 
big collaboration in such little time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because even Bad Bunny's like climb was relatively like slow. It was like he had a couple songs. It was getting yeah, bigger. Yeah, and there's like a like there's a journey you can yes. see. Like I remember to doing a piece on him on Genius in 2017, mm -hmm. and that was when he was rapping like, like literally Latin like trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Like him and Anuel were like straight on the poo -poo 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 shit. Yeah, and then then you but you just see it right. You exactly. see it develop. With this fool, it was just like what? He doesn't even have an album out. But he was something think. before, right? Yeah, yeah. so uh, we we were to go eat somewhere for lunch, I think like last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. And I was like, I wonder if he has other music. And he does have an album that dropped in 2021. Okay. And it was like, I think it was Strictly Weed. I didn't really listen to it. I'm not, I don't care, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But his new shit is a fucking like, mm -hmm. that fool hasn't missed, way. Yeah. He hasn't missed, and he follows me. <laughs> Shout and he has a he has a look. He has a marketing look that is different. No, so actually he doesn't. He has a mullet. And from what I've read, he's not like people like his energy more than they do like his look. Like his style. Like his style, the way but he But I is. feel like I okay, so I I'm on purpose, like I'm not I'm not too tapped in with him. But it's like I feel like I can call what he looks like. It's gonna be like either like a collared shirt or like a flowy shirt, and then probably like uh Look, it looks like Loki surf pants, surf yeah. shorts, or like mm -hmm. some kind of shorts. Swim trunks or and then his, yeah, Loki looks like swim trunks. Yeah. Always colorful. Yeah. And then his hair. Yeah. So like, he already has a look that you can attach to him. Yeah. yeah. You know? and, then, and then my thing is, though, like, I just be reading it. They're like, they're like, is he really good looking or he's just famous? Mm mm. He's just famous. Yeah. yeah. I started cute. to see a bunch of girls I follow post him up with like the hard eyes. I I'm blame like, Pete Davidson. Yeah, I'm like, for no being way. ugly and popping, and then it's a new wave. You can see the ugliest fools pop. So, hey, ugly fools, this is your time. Shine, baby. But he's killing it. Killing it. Like, bro, to do Coachella that early on in your career. Yeah. Well, he came crazy. out as a guest. As a guest. Becky but he still did the shit. Yeah. But, like, right. guaranteed he's going to be on yeah. the next lineup. He's going to be on all the festivals next year. He blew up so much that it's like now these festivals are looking crazy for not having him. Because mm -hmm. they didn't have, like, he wasn't big when they did plan the festival a year ago. Yeah, like, the PRs didn't think it all the way through. Like, the PRs had no clue there was going to be a new I mean, sensation. There's really no way of predicting that. I was looking at the Spotify charts globally. He has two of the two of the songs in the top ten. Like, Ella by, uh, by La Sola with uh, Eslabón Armado. La Bebe. And then, and then La Bebe uh, remix with Young Lucas. It's that like, song is so good, by the way. It it's is. like, one. that's number one, Ella by La Sola. And then number three is La Bebe. And number two is Grupo Frontera, Bad Bunny. Shout out to them. And it's like, bro, how does somebody grow that fast? And his fan base is like already like, they were talking like, yeah, he's better than Bad Bunny. I'm just like, whoa, this is fast. Mm -hmm. And he sold out the Toyota Center. Shout out the Toyota Center. In dog. Ontario. And then, and then I asked the homie's mom. She wouldn't go see him. She's like one of the best performers I've ever seen. Wow. That's what That's she said. Fun. The name is Peso Pluma. I like the name. It's fire. And trip up, cool. Peso Pluma is not him. That's the group. That's his group called. They just, he. What's his name? No, but like his name is Peso Pluma was the name of their whole band, their whole group. Okay, but what's his name? I don't know. But he's the face. He's the face though. That's Everybody's weird. gonna call him Peso Pluma. No, because we know sense. Edwin as Edwin. Yeah. No, his name is Hachan We would never know that. That's his at on Instagram? No, his ad on Instagram is Peso Pluma. That's a little bit weird. You know what I'm saying? Like group yeah. of people. That's like Justin Timberlake being known as NSYNC. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So that's that's all big. But he's also but he's using the username. Yeah, he's using the username. So so that's what I'm saying. Like it's not like it's not like like for group of female. Yeah, it's a whole group. We know all of them. Mm -hmm. But we know Edwin. Yeah. We don't know him. We know Peso Pluma. We just assume it's him. And but it puts like all other group. Uh, his like his guitar is maybe the... kind of like atmosphere. How people think Slug is atmosphere, atmosphere, but they call him atmosphere. But atmosphere is the crew. Yeah. So it's atmosphere and... is not one person. No, no, Slug is the one person. It's Slug, Slug. and Ant, and together they make atmosphere. atmosphere. Or like Gangstar, yeah, is right. is Guru and DJ Premier. But people sometimes look at Guru like, oh, it's Gangstar. Yeah, it's Oh, see, see, it's kind of that's wanna, usually two people. But yeah. it usually, yeah. but for it to be a whole group, it's kind of like we don't call JOP really Fuerza Regida. No. Yeah. Like, oh, that's J-O-P. Yeah. Right. But also, it's him, too, for using his username like that. Yeah, it is. Facts. Like he put his username as Peso Pluma. Everybody's, yeah. everybody's calling him that. Because Peso Pluma means something. Is it like, isn't that like... Featherweight? Uh, no. No, Peso Pluma, like... like it's kind of I like I think like a, gun, like... Because I feel like ha uh, Fat Joe has a song called something... Um, like Peso Pluma is like... Oh, that's Plata like, 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 like heavy, Oh, yeah, like, Plata Plomo. Yeah, that's Plata. Peso no, Pluma it means makes. featherweight. Featherweight, yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I what? guess because he's skinny. 
Okay, is this it a would biggest, make sense as his is this the biggest industry plan we've ever seen? By the way, I love his music. Shout out his shit, but uh, or is he an industry plan? I don't know if he could be. I don't know if he's an industry plan. Or is he just a TikTok star? TikTok blew him up because he I, did something before music, right? He was like a soccer player. Yes, yeah, so he was a he was a soccer player. Um, he was in the academy of the Chivas, and he played with a lot of people that have gone on to play for like the Mexican national team and be legit good players. He was like in their developmental. You know, place. Yeah, so yeah. He was younger. their academies and shit. Exactly, like that. yeah. Damn. So he was training. He wanted to be a, a soccer player. Profes and music worked out. Fuck it. And music worked out. Okay, so there's like a few conversations that we need to have about being an industry plant. Um, the first one is like an in industry plant. Right now, we connected to people that had no fan base, right? Mm -hmm. And that the label just created. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so like, let's say in like the 90s, or like whatever before internet or whatever before you could create your own fan base. That's essentially every artist. Mm -hmm. Britney Spears, NSYNC, all of these people were put together by labels. They didn't have a fan base. They had talent though. Yeah. They would go and try out. Then they would have. Then they would sign them, and then they would push them out to the world. If anything, before it was way more industry plants. We just didn't call them that. Yeah. And like it's crazy to me because like Loki, this is an old head. I think an issue for old heads that we shit on like the new generation of like, oh, this music sucks, this music's that. But if we think about it, we never were in control of our music. Right. People right now are in the most control of their music because they can go out and find people they like, YouTube, SoundCloud, all of this, right? Whereas before we were fed music. Yep. We're fed music by the labels to the radio. We would never hear anything unless a label made it and put it on the radio and we heard it, right? So we were more controlled back then than we are now so that's why it trips me out that it's a negative when it's someone that's quote unquote an industry plant which low-key is like how everyone did it back in the day yeah it's such a weird dynamic right yeah. and then there's also the question of like for example Nicki minaj made this claim a lot like when she was hot labels started making any other artist just to look like her sound like her because if one person's hot people are going to want to listen to music that sounds like that person and so they create a bunch of girls like that um Nicki minaj's initial issue with cardi b was that atlantic was always trying to make another Nicki. And then they found like Cardi and then she happened to work. So Nikki was more upset at the label. But then, of course, like Cardi is her own person. Like, what the fuck are you calling me this? Or like, you're, yeah. you're or they're making me like, I'm not that. And as any person would, because we all have fucking feelings. But it's like, there's a business to it, too. Like, oh, Peso Pluma's popping. All the labels are going to look for another Peso Pluma, right? Yeah. They're going to try to fit that mold. So it's like, are those the industry plans? Someone that looks like Drake or sounds like Kendrick, like, because we know that works already. So we're just trying to, like, mimic that. So it's just very weird conversations and dynamics that go into it. Um, to me, it's just so crazy, his, his like, superstardom. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I, think, I think when people have those conversations, like, you know, you know the perspective when it comes to other things? Mm -hmm. Like, when it comes to music from back in... But I think now when they consider it like industry plan wise, I think they consider the call sign he got so fast. Yeah. Okay. I think I okay. think I think because that's me not yeah. knowing like the industry music like that. I could say like, how'd you how'd you like how'd you get but a song? But it's also like who you know, right? Yeah. Not, like it's like if I know Rihanna and she likes my music, and then she shows me to all the other people she knows. Yeah. Essentially, that would be a label or whoever yeah. who's signing him, right? Yeah. They knew he has to have talent too. Cause then we look at it as like, oh, the music's actually good. No, yeah. no, hundred percent. Like, the music is good. Because if it I'm wasn't, not... then I would feel more upset. Like this shit's not even bars, and like we're it's popping out here, and Rihanna's co-signing, and Beyonce, and Bad Bunny. Like if it they, was forced yeah. onto them. Yeah. yeah. What? And initially, I'm like, I don't like this music. I don't like his music. But then I saw like the TikTok part of it, mm -hmm. and I'm like, if anything, the TikTok is the industry plant tur. Yeah. Now but I think what could have happened is like there's like a term in the industry kind of called like push the button on somebody, mm -hmm. right? So he could have been doing his thing and maybe he was essentially like yeah. a struggling uh, artist that wasn't really blowing up or anything. But then one thing worked, you know, mm -hmm. maybe a TikTok blew yeah. up and it started to, to work and the people behind him have lots of money yeah. and then they decided, all right, let's put all our marketing money behind him. He's going to be kid. everywhere. Yeah. He's ready to go. We're pushing the button on him now. And we don't know when that occurs, but we just start seeing him everywhere and we're like, where did this guy come yeah. from? Why yeah. is he having so much success? Something all at the about same it time? just doesn't feel organic. But yeah. then also, I promise you, this was the way that it was in the '90s. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. like to me, it's just like and these fools came right? out of nowhere and they're our favorite. Like yes. how many? Yeah. Yeah. Like how many great people we've seen blow up? Ivan Coronejo, we've seen him blow up from 
yeah, all these people, right? And I'm like, you don't see the co like the cosign this fool got. Yeah, it's Becky like G song. like yeah. Becky G so is quick. considered probably one of the biggest artists in regional and like just. But she's pop in the Latin world. In the Latin world, right? She bounces yeah. around from. Dollar. So you wouldn't think that you're gonna co-sign something that fast. Like how we said, bro, it's been two weeks and bros mm -hmm. hit one of the biggest stages ever. Yeah. How the fuck you or get that? Or it's so like, at, like overnight isn't always isn't as overnight as you think. Like I'll give you an example because also with Becky G and the fool that you wore, right? The the dude. Um, Ghetto Rodeo. No, 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 oh. no. Shout out to Ghetto Rodeo. Shout out to Ghetto Rodeo. The dude that made your sweater. Him, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't know uh, what his name is. Fuck. I, I good, know, good fool, makes great work. I didn't get anything, but um, Duno got something, right? And so Duno posts him. Then Becky G posts him. Now he's on Me Too. Now he, there's different publications reaching out to me. And that's how quickly it could spread because yes. of social media. Like, right. everybody, yeah. like, they see it, and it's because it's hot. Yeah. It's actually good. But he was probably doing this forever. Yeah, no, he's And no doing... one was fucking with him. But it's like, it only takes these people... To fuck with you, and then every if it's hot, everyone's gonna want yeah. it, a part of it, it's right? Because like I feel like now everyone's gonna want this was pieces, you know. And it's not because he's like an overnight or like someone paid Becky to post or you to post, but it's like you saw it, and like you said, I get so much shit in my PO box. Some of it's not good, but his also happened to be good, you know. Nah, that shit is stupid, yeah. duper fire. But yeah, that's I, real I, shit. I, no, no, I get what you're saying too. So I could imagine her like it's kind of like her showing up to some a certain artist yeah. she likes, and people just think that. She's doing it because at the moment he's popping, but what if she generally fucks right, with his music? Right, if it's good. And I'm like, ah, oh, that makes a lot of sense. I feel like they're going to get together. Ooh. I feel like that's a, that I know, I know, I don't think he's cute. I do not think he's cute. But is he hot? Yes. And Becky needs, right now, what Becky needs is a boy toy. Right now, Becky doesn't need to be in, like, the next fool is the one she marries. Damn it. Fool, you have a girl that you've had forever. Oh, my God. We could... Help her out together. <laughs> I could be her boy toy. Oh, my gosh. But she also needs someone to stunt. That's a yeah. stunt. Like, if I'm going... That's a yeah. stupid flex right yeah, now. A, a, like, um, like, against my dude? Or the dude? Yeah. Like, right. yeah, Damn, but, that's a flex. Damn, but even, like, J.O.P. shot his shot on the Coachella today? Yeah, but not yeah. even J.O.P. Like, would be as big a flex uh, as... Um, Peso Pluma. Peso Pluma, weirdly. Which is crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, this up... I'm talking about... You're talking about this fool... His hype is up here. Like, yeah. nobody's had this hype in Mexican original music. And, oh, Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. You get a Bad well, Bunny, Peso Pluma song, it's over. Yeah. I feel like that's coming. Yeah. That, and, and, it's and, just and, the and, same and, way he did the stuff with Grupo Frontera. It was like, that made a lot of sense. It was perfect timing. This will brought it. Shout out Mexicans for taking over Coachella. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Literally. I wish we were the Mexicans that the took over Coachella. Oh, I wish fucking Dom changed his fucking jobs after. Yeah, maybe like two Coachella months later. Coachella, yeah. like, <laughs> Dom? We had the Coachella plug, but then he changed um, companies. Yeah. Still love him. Of course. Um, okay, that was great conversation. Yeah. That was great conversation. Incredible conversation. Yeah. That's a clip. Um, shout out Angie. Sombra Sala. Angie, Sombra Sala. Sombra Sala. Well, Angie walks over here. Shout out Mexicans over taking over Coachella. Mm -hmm. Do you like that group of Frontera Bad Bunny song? I do like it. You do like it? Yeah. Hey, look. Yesterday when I was packaging the merch, huh. my mom and dumbass were shitting on the song. Oh, no. Wow. And guess what? But they were bonding. And guess what? They young, were bonding. Guess what? Young Dunoskis loves the song. I like the song. I like, I like the, the song. song. It's a guy's perspective, first yeah. of all. And it's kind of like, I don't think you want your girl to like it. Ah, you don't want your girl to like it because it's about a dude missing her while he's out. And that if you see me out with the girl, I'm just wasting time. Yeah. I'm still thinking I, about you. I felt those bars so much. So that's why you. <laughs> I'm going to lie. Good song, by the way. Angie, yeah. you like that song? Well, they fixed your mic over there. Jose, dumb yeah. fucking Girls pieces. in relationships are probably not going to like the song except me. <laughs> 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 no, just even the beat itself, I still, like, I'm still trying to like, like it. Yeah, like force yourself. Shout out Bad Bunny, too, because he was bumping little baby, and I like that. Yeah. Ooh, the laugh. <laughs> no, the him. laugh. It's the laugh. Hey. It's just it's so funny laugh. to see all of your guys' reaction. It's, it's, it's so funny. I don't bite, Angie. Oh. Not me. Better. Anyways. I just said I don't, but there's nothing wrong with that. All right, Angelica, talk to us. Oh, my God, you guys. Over the weekend, I saw Grupo Firme bring out Tekashi 6 9 at, his, at their concert in Miami, yeah. which I thought was so weird That's and crazy. odd. And they, you know, oh, well. Do you think Grupo Firme feels the pressure from Peso Pluma that they're no longer? No, because board? even um, Edwin has a picture with. Um, and loves him. Yeah, loves him. That's what came out of Toyota Center. 
he, he, he brought them out right there. Oh, what, that's how you know. What sucks about this for me is that they don't have to do this. Like, they don't have to be around 6'9". Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So they probably genuinely fuck with him. They probably yeah. do. Yeah. And what's, also, like, this is not for any... They couldn't oh, get yeah. paid enough. They yeah. couldn't, like, you can't... This is like, no. This is like the Jay-Z of fucking Mexican regional. Like, yeah. you yeah. can't pay him for this shit. What if if he does a feature with you, it's because they genuinely fuck with you. Yeah. What if they don't know his, his antics? No, they do. I'm pretty sure that everyone knows. But Who the thing know? is, it's like... But it's Go looked at it. differently in Mexico than it is in. in well, it wasn't the in US. Mexico. It was in Miami. No, no, no I'm saying in general, in like culture. people's like perception of, of no, the no. music. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Like because they don't he's care got... about all that shit. Him beefing with YG and him talking shit. Talk. Like they, I'm sure you they don't. You know what they probably saw? Fuck. They probably saw him repping the Mexican flag at the Puerto Rico. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Game. yeah. And we're like, yeah. oh yeah. No, but to be honest, they said we start we and wait. No, to be honest, I generally don't. To be honest, I generally don't think that they know because. You don't because because okay. what Vic's saying is essentially not you you're saying that we don't have self respect. Like oh. Mexicans because you gotta think about it like this, bro. Like I'm not saying that. Like I I'm I'm seeing that like a JLP is not gonna fuck with a Takashi. Like, yeah, it might be some comical shit, but he's still out of pocket. I feel like JLP is more Mexican American and they're more Mexican. Look, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the are. thing. Yeah. Like JLP is from San Bernardino. So he's he has more homies in. in the streets. You don't wanna like mess with no like rats, quote unquote, whatever. In Mexico, not to say that they don't that like they fuck with rats at all, but it's like that's some whole that that's y'all shit. Like we just make our Mexican music, mm -hmm. and he's in the rap world, and we could build a bridge. He's Mexican, that's cool. He's rep the way they see it is probably like he's one of the only Mexicans on a big scale representing, and they they don't really give a fuck about all the other shit. I generally think they don't know about his antics when I it comes hope to like that they don't know yeah. because he's done some shit that even if you're okay, like this is the thing about six nine. Is that he does he he does things that like maybe isolated they won't be as bad right just either, whether it's the beefs that he has with people mm -hmm. maybe his case maybe the type of music he makes maybe the shit that he said or the types of trolls that he's done maybe isolated they're not bad but there's gonna be something that hits your community right yeah mm -hmm. to me personally I tried my best to like look pa and be just objective with him and try to understand him because I think a lot too when he first came out we saw him as the meme. Yeah. Of like this is the the last boss when you defeat all the SoundCloud, SoundCloud rappers, rappers, right? Yeah. So you just saw him with his rainbow hair, and I think automatically as humans, when we don't understand something, we hate it, yeah. right? We so a lot it. of us didn't understand him, so we hated him at first. The stuff he was wearing, the six nine everywhere, mm -hmm. or the STD shit, yeah. like all of that. But then it got into like a other realm of like. The things that he was saying, and I just really, and then his court case that he went through, yeah. things they were saying about him there. So I just was like, okay, do I we not like him because he's different, or do we generally have reason to not like him? I really tried my best to be objective, right? Yeah. yeah. It wasn't really until he came and he did that shit to Nipsey's mural That's what I'm saying. Yeah. that I'm just like, for me personally, that was my personal last draw. That yeah. was my personal like, dog. I can't even. Big up the shit that you do because sometimes then he would do nice shit like go to DR and give people money and yeah. do, but it's like you can't outweigh the fuck shit that you do by one nice thing or a couple nice things. It's like you're the sum of all the shit you do. Exactly. So to me, I couldn't fuck with that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's so. why I think generally they don't I know. Think, yeah, I think gen me personally knowing how we've seen their character, how they they you know they for the people they come up. It was a struggle yeah. like. You generally, he generally shits on people. Mm -hmm. The beef, beef is whatever. Beef happens. Like mm -hmm. the beef with YG or Chipper Red, I'm not like, that's who. Yeah. But I think when it comes to just disrespecting in general, yeah. Yeah. I think that's when it's like, uh, I, I generally think they don't know. That they just brought him out and somehow they Yeah, I just think online. they think he looks cool. Yeah. He's and popular. he has a great story if yeah. you look at it. He grew up homeless and very poor. Like, he talks about how he would get new shoes by digging in dumpsters. Mm -hmm. And, like, even one time he went to school with some new shoes he got from the dumpsters. And the kid who threw them away started clowning him. Like, he comes from that. His dad wasn't present in his life. That's why he's like, fuck you to his dad, right? So it was him and his mom a lot. Like, he was the one out there hustling. Like, all of that is very, like, wow. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of times and when he says that he dresses in bright colors is because when he was young, like he wanted to stand out and he couldn't with clothes or he couldn't with how he looked. So he did it with how he like the colors that he was wearing. All of that is like, damn, if you just knew that story and didn't know who it came from, that should be like, you damn, would, yeah. like I want to know who that is. Right. Yeah. And so then he knows how to clench you. But then all of that stuff also created different parts of him that are not as great. 
yeah. you know and he he it's just it's up to him to lean on his shitty side or the side that's like persevering you know which is unfortunate but he's leaning on his troll shit hopefully right now he's not i think yeah. he's been hella humbled he's in the yeah mm-hmm. and i think, think he's so? yeah. I think he's trying to like yeah. transition out of the rap world. Out of rap, sure. Mm-hmm. He's trying to tap in because he's actually coming yeah, out with an Latin album. He's getting and embraced he for mm-hmm. the most part. Besides, like street, like Latin artists, like Anuel, like can't fuck with him or whatever. Yeah. Like in in his mind, he's like, oh no, like a, you know, that's a bad rap, a bad association. But yeah. like other artists, like shit, we might hear a Takashi and Peso Pluma song. Yeah. No, Why I not? think he comes from that. I think he comes from that world yeah, too. Some you know, the, I just yeah, yeah. think I'm not I, saying like they, I, they, that they fuck with snitches. It's just like they just they don't see a snitch when they look at Takashi. They just see like Takashi, like a Someone troll colorful. in my yeah. mind. Yeah, that, like I mean that's troll. what I think. Yeah. yeah, I think I think it's I think more it's gonna work to is it's his 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 career in the United States is over with. Yeah. Yeah, and especially in hip hop genre. Yeah. Especially, and that's I don't know. Came. I feel like Miami fucks with him so much because even he's been on Gordy La Flaca, and that's yeah. also in Miami. But yeah, but, I just all, but that's he's not doing hip hop shit in Miami. Oh no, 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 it's not with Rick Ross. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, like he's, he's just been tapping into Spanish the Spanish shit. Miami's yeah, yeah. the hub of the Latin like industry. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like, but yeah, I think generally, like in reggaeton, is you're talking about you talking about sex and being freaky. So like, does that really have anything that like? Holds, like I'm not saying you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because like, he still gets like holes and shit. You know, like, yeah, people don't time. care, yeah, bro. Like, it's all new world. Just if he yeah. makes so it, odd, yeah. it's very odd. Yeah. If he makes a it's good song, odd. if he makes a good song, I think people like that don't know of his past, especially if it's in Spanish. Mm-hmm. It'll be too late by the time they like it. Yeah, like by the time they like it, they find out about him. Then they're like, oh fuck, but I like the song. I can't not think yeah. about it, right? Yeah, yeah it's kind However, of, like. Yeah. It's low key our responsibility now. Like it's on the Latino genre mm-hmm. to kind of either cut his bullshit, and not let yeah. him be that way with us, or like like really hold him accountable. Otherwise, the way we're we're gonna look crazy out here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because then low key we're gonna look like we are like fucking enabling his shit. Yeah. You know, and that's how I felt, especially like as a Latino in hip hop. I'm like, we get one Mexican rapper and mm-hmm. he does all this shit. Mm-hmm. Embarrassing. Like, you know, just from my perspective, it was just like, bro, like, why do it have to be, why do you have to be Mexican? Like, you yeah. know, it's just kind of like a representation, you know, even though it's not like he represents himself, but at the end of the day, a lot of people will look at him. It's like, oh, he's Mexican. He's Mexican. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Miami. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> but probably, also, that probably made them like it more. Like, no, oh, but also, yep. there's like this lady that my mom watches, and she said that she was going for like Argentina or Mexico when they played in the World Cup. Yeah. And my mom said that in Mexico, she stopped selling shows. Because, because she said, because she she said that she was going more for Argentina than, than she was for Mexico. Okay, 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 okay. So that's how the community works. And that's yeah. so, you know, they don't really know too much about his shit. Yeah. I just right. think they're like, oh, he's new on the scene. He has a crazy look. And he has done Spanish music before. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah he did and the it's show good. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and yeah. it's good. It yeah, wasn't he, bad. yeah, he did the shit yeah. at the with at the beach and the pool with yeah. with Anuel, right? Yeah. yeah, but but that was before all the bullshit. Yeah, mm. yeah. no, yeah. you're, you're right. I'm you're saying? right. So, I just remembered. Yeah, right that's before. just weak though. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he will ever bring him out here though, not in LA, because I know Grupo Firma is gonna be here May 27. I highly doubt that he'll ever bring him out here. No. No, I don't don't even think he comes out here. That's not even a... I don't think that that's like a... That's like whatever city you're in, the artists that... Like, they're not traveling with this fool. Yeah. Yeah. It's like whoever lives in that city that you're at, you're probably going to invite him. It's not like, oh, let's bring 6 9 everywhere. Yeah, and I think... I have my theories that like... Takashi hit them up and was like, hey, I want to come to the show. And then they're like, oh, see? But then the thing they posted, it was them that posted like... Shout out to Six Nine, yeah. the song we have, blah blah blah. Mm. Like they have, like have they're like teasing up. a song on the yeah. way. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, yeah. yeah, I, I don't. And that's not reggaeton. So if it would, yeah. like, they're not gonna. What if he's it's gonna good? go into their space. Yeah. Fucking Josh blew smoke into the lens. What if it's good? Oh, I see it. <laughs> now we're in the cloud. Nice. <laughs> but what if the song's good? Uh, it's gonna be good. That's my it's thing. Good? It's going to be good. Yes, I think so too. Uh, I would probably listen to it. And but if not it's so bad, we're gonna force <laughs> our, we're gonna force ourselves like we forced the Bad Bunny and Frontera I song. Pesa Pluma and, yeah. Grupo Grupo Frontera and Bad Bunny was a great song. That's a good song. So yeah. yeah, I think so Angie feels. I still I still feel like I'm forcing myself to like it. I haven't. When I first heard it, yeah. I was like. Oh, this is all right. And then it grew on me. It grew on oh, me. Okay, so you and do have to listen to it. Especially Bad Bunny's part. Yeah. If you were with Prius Poppy, right? Just mm-hmm. say, let's say, if you weren't with him and you listen to that song, you'd be like, oh, I like this song. Because no. he says things like, if you see me out, I'm still thinking of you, yeah. all of that, which is true to life. Yeah. yeah. It's true to life for these no, fools. I get they're it. out and they're the thinking lyrics, of each I like it, but the, it's the beat that I don't like that I'm like, oh, it sounds like something else and I just, I, but you know I don't like it, it. But you know what it was? It's like, when I first heard Un Verano Sin Ti, I didn't uh. like it. What? Album? Like, when I first heard it, the whole album, the first listen, I was like, the whole album. Yeah. Let me can I finish? But I'm asking. Some songs, most <laughs> most songs that I know now for word to word that I love every time it comes out, mm, mm, mm. it's viral. Yeah, I didn't like him at first, and it grew on me. And I think Bad Bunny has had that because I can't listen to Bad Bunny's trap shit. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, okay, okay. Like the first like Bad Bunny first stuff. You like that shit? Yeah. yeah. I don't I like, like that shit. I liked it. Trap but Bunny. but when the first Bad Bunny I ever heard was like Ancion with J Balvin. That's the first song. And I'm like, dude, this song's fucking amazing. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm also a simp, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know what I mean? So, but then I'm like, oh, this shit grew on me. When I first heard the group of Fortera, the shit, I'm like, no, oh, this shit, this shit no, was forced. It was forced. <laughs> and it just, it looks good for Bad Bunny right now because Pussy Puma's kicking his ass. Yeah. And then I heard the song yesterday and I was like, oh, this shit's not boss. kicking his ass. It's okay Coachella. for other people to be they exist. Have a and yeah. 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 Opinion. No, 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 but so can we. They keep going yeah. back and forth on Spotify charts. They keep yeah. going back and forth. Right yeah, now? I think you love numbers, right? Yeah, if you're They're talking about numbers. Yeah, because yeah. Ice Spice kicking the Beatles ass? Yeah. No. Ice Spice is way better than the Beatles. No. I'll stand by that. No. But <laughs> no, I'm just I'm they just both saying. exist. She's not, she's not kicking the ass. You know what's crazy is that Bad Bunny has no music of his own. None. And he's still. Right no, there, like when was when no, did he drop? No, I'm talking about Bad Bunny. No Bad music. Bunny has not dropped an album since Un Verano Sin Ti, and yeah. it's still up there. No, fair, How yeah. many months or a year has it been since it dropped? Right? Competing. Yeah. No, 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 and it's still up there competing with this fool that's dropping music right now. Yeah, so it's yeah. like that's just it's it's longevity versus yeah. hot right now. Yeah, yeah. I would say no, the right. hype. It, they can compete in hype because Bad Bunny has a hype, and to a certain extent, other people are like. Hyping up uh, um, Peso Pluma that high, mm-hmm. but like you can't compare when like Bad Bunny just headlined Coachella two weekends, you know? Yeah. Like that's like, I, I, that's big time. You know what? He's around my age. He's on his way. He's gonna be hot. I'm rocking with yeah, him. I'm, I'm. You should. I'm, I'm, I'm going for him too, and, and people and shouldn't like pit them against each other. More. 
And, yeah, and, 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 and honestly, I'm yeah. a huge fan of like his voice is. They fuck with each other too, right? They do. Yeah, they took a picture together. Now they do. Yeah, now they do because because of Bruma Sarah Sarah. Call him pendejo. Pendejo. Now Mexico is the number one. And that's smart. And that's smart to do that because that's what you do. Yes. <laughs> so you know, that's that's the new generation's way. Fuck so and so until you meet so and so and you're like, oh yeah, what's up, bro? Best friends, besties. Bestie. <laughs> mm, locked in. Podcast you know? with the rivals. Yeah, me and Oski. <laughs> Shout out to the rivals, man. They want to come out here. If they diss us, why would we want them? I don't think they dissed you. <laughs> and you know oh, what? Sorry. Actually, I went. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. I went and you said, like, oh, like Letty and Vic were my, might have pulled up. And then they're like, yeah, you should have told them. I remember that. But they that. didn't tell me to tell wow. them. I just remember oh that. My God. They didn't tell me, hey, tell Letty and Vic to pull There's up on the There's a mole in the crew, and it's not <laughs> <from> you Garcia's. <laughs> they didn't tell me, hey, tell Letty and Vic to pull up. No, but, but when, when we you got there. But when you get somebody, do you bring people and let them tell you to bring people? Yes. You brought Angie. Yeah. No, You're Angie. Mexican. No. Angie. You just come. Hey, hey, hey. Angie secretly really wanted to go. I did. Because at first she was like, hey. She's like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. And then I'm leaving and she's like, send me the address. I'll put it up for a little bit. Yeah. I did. She, I did. It, I wanted to be at Chismosa. Yes. So what? So, but nah, shout out to them. They're really cool. They're really cool. Come shout out to them. I, I like so. how they titled this shit. Oh, my. Okay, go. Just. They were cool. And Angie, you were Angie, you were connecting so hard while we were there. <laughs> Angie, how could you? Yeah, I do merch. Angie, I do graphic design. I do the oh, sobra sola. I'm I'm brown bag and I'm power. I did not say that. You're such an FLA. Yes, if you want to talk shit. My, I wish I could throw she my phone in her resume. She, she was giving her resume. I was not giving my resume, you yeah. liar. Whatever. Wow. I wasn't reading my resume. You're such a little liar. <laughs> I think it was funny when we were sitting down there. They were like, yeah, man, I really like you guys. But it's crazy to know that they, you know, they were competition pops. I think we're better, but you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, we are. We are definitely. You want to be El Platicón. El Platicón. Fuck you, bro. El Platicón. All right. Do your shout out, Seba. Shout out, Josh. I told them on the phone because he FaceTimed me too. And I'm like, dog, you got to tell me before you FaceTime me. I don't know what I was doing, but they fucking FaceTime me and I'm Ked And then it's fucking Josh's fucking pretty ass face. And I'm like, yo, fool, you guys are. We thought we were the prettiest motherfuckers. They're they're really pretty. <laughs> they're really they pretty. work out. <laughs> oh yeah, they cooler culo. Hey. That part. That part. Cooler culo. What's cooler culo? Uh, Twitter taking away the blue check. Shut your bitch ass up, Maximo. Oh, but you know what I did think was weird that Elon kept like uh, I guess he kept like dead he paid celebrities. LeBron. Yeah. Like Kobe's. He was, yeah. Oh, he paid Kobe's. He paid LeBron's. Well, LeBron's he didn't pay, but like he he left yeah. them keep their. Their blue checks. Check. If you were dead, but if you were alive, you have to pay. Yeah. And then now it's like if you have over what if a million you're dead followers. Inside? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but like now, if you have a million followers, you can keep it. I don't know. It's just weird. Like he changes his mind every other week, and like now to me, like a blue check on on Twitter, I've never had one, but it it just like it seems so like like gross. Yeah. Know? Like it just seems like pointless now. Like what what what? It's not gonna have? last. It's not gonna yeah. last. Fuck it. I, I like about the ones on Instagram. The blue the checks on Instagram? Well, yeah, now, I think, now they're tricky, You know too. where I think it works? It's less about the flex. It's less about, like, oh, I'm verified. And it's more about, is this really that person because of so many fake accounts? Because if they're doing away with the blue check, they should also do away with fake accounts that yeah. are trying to mimic another account. Yeah. Because the then you think you're talking to one person and it's not. It's, like, weird, weird. Facts. Right? And all the sex bots that like my stories every day. <laughs> I'm sick of them. You like them. No, I'm tired because they're not real people. How do you know they're psycho spots? I mean, I just assume they have zero followers. Like, you so know. you went to what a bad page? bitch in the Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I have actual bad bitches that follow me. So I'm like, oh, another one. And I'm like, oh, no, it's false alarm again. But, you know, some of them aren't. It's just, tell me if I'm, my ass is nice. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, that's when I know. I'm like, yeah. yeah, that's when I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> it's fake. It's fake. It's never, it's never that easy. <laughs> All right, well, anything else, bud? <laughs> I think we're good. No, nah, we're good. Episode 91. Episode. <laughs> no, we do have updates. Talking about merch. We're going to have merch coming out. Fat Leche. It's out now. It's out now. Press the link in the pod. description. Yeah. This is the mock up. Out now. Of the, Primo of the Pod out now. Fat Leche is out now. And then I have the Your Little Faces out now. Yay. All right. There's, There's so gold. many. Check out the yeah. full. Check out the full uh, merch. Brownbackpod.com. Yeah. You can also buy them on YouTube. As soon as you look under the video, yeah. you see right Cool right beans. Cool like beans. Boom. We should have a YouTube exclusive shirt, just how Bad Bunny did for Coachella. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Shout out to Primo, too, for designing that. Season yeah. four. But go buy the merch right now, brownbackpod.com yeah, or under the YouTube. Interviews coming? 
We interviews gotta, coming this season. Yes, lots of interviews. Yeah, we're doing more interviews this season. We're going to be telling dope stories. More oh, more vlogs oh, yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. Behind the scenes. This whole content. channel is going to get like, boop. Yeah, so the, subscribe now if you haven't already. Yeah, the goal is to show you guys like different shit from us. So like yeah. maybe Letty could give us like a breakdown of her favorite album. Yeah, you guys always want these fools to do their own shit. They're, I hope they do their own shit. I am with you. I want them to with have the pod, yeah. their own podcast. But it's all under brown bags. Yeah. So don't worry about nothing. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? So Letty might show you guys how she does her makeup. Yeah. Keto, keto advice. That'll be fire. Little Some story keto time. advice. Mm -hmm. Story time. When you used to be a hoochie advice. advice. Used to. Used to. <laughs> <laughs> show them the tits. <laughs> don't show them the tits right now. Let us leave. Um. More content, sleep. more vlogs. Yeah. Everything. I'm excited for this yeah, season. It's Comment who you want us to talk to, too. We're open to interviews this season. We, we haven't yeah. been wanting to do them. We really didn't want to talk to too many people, but now it's like, all right, let's see. So make sure mm. you go tap the fuck in. And more live shows on the way. Yeah. More live shows coming. More times to be outside with us. Because <laughs> yes. season four, we outside, we baby. Outside. Yeah. All right, that was episode 91. See you guys next time. Send stuff to the P.O. Box. Oh, yeah. Send stuff to the P.O. Box. P.O. Box oh. 3109 Hollywood. Brownback California. 15. Yeah. EPTM.us. We oh, yeah. want to highlight a brown business every episode. So send us stuff to highlight. Yeah. Some cool Next. shit. Mm -hmm. If you just right make... Here. If you make, like, candles, like, in their wax candles... Don't Why do you say that when you got candles gifted to you? Is that what you're trying to say? Damn. No, it's not really nice. Those are my homies and my dad. Yeah. They passed away on them. Sure. Damn. Damn. Episode 91. <laughs> you brought candles. <laughs>